your band and your wife. Yeah. That's been your life. Yeah. You're losing them both. At the same time. Jesus. You're actually working very hard. Bro, if I'm cornered, I say, girl, stop when you get me pregnant. So that's bro. 250 plus tips. Bro, we And you had to it. shut that down? Bro. I'm, I'm here, here now. now. <laughs> Choose ye this you day. You said presentation is everything. And for new people, you only get one time. What you doing is great, man. I love what you're doing, bro. <laughs> that ain't what I want to do, though. You did two things at one time that you should never do. Is this it for me? And they was writing checks to the man. We was like, hey, look, we ain't getting all this money. Hold up. For free. For free. What up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of the RXS Podcast. I'm Rajay, and I got a very special guest in the building, Eric Duncan. How are you doing, I'm man? I'm doing great, man. How are you, man? I'm good, man. That's awesome. Thank you for being here, dog. Thanks for having me. Yeah, This man. is an honor for real, for real. Yo, first of all, before we start, all right. I saw you bring that flower in here. Yeah, this is Sunny. Okay, so tell yeah. me about Sunny real quick. So, uh, I'm big on, I've been big on sunflowers for a while, mm-hmm. but I've kind of intentionally implemented it into my artistry right now. So, for the last year and a half, for real, for real. Okay. Um, but uh, the sunflower represents um, longevity. So in my at my big age, um, I'm 37. So in the in the um, music industry, the older you get, the more they try to weed you out. So this is just like a, a reminder that I'm supposed to be here. So that's all. Yeah. How did you like? How did you make that connection with the sunflower? And when did you make that? So. Connection? I'm, I've always just loved the sunflower, just for the look of it, the bright colors. I don't even do bright colors that yeah. often. Like I'm always in black, like yeah. this, always. But like something about the sunflower, since I was a kid, it's always been a thing. Um, but then I, 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 I researched it like maybe a couple of years ago, and I was like, oh my god, is this like, yeah, a sign from God that yeah. I'm gonna need this? So yeah, yeah. That's dope, bro. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> so I want to go all the way back to the beginning. Okay. Where were you born? Oh, uh, Mansfield, Ohio. Wow. Yeah. I'm a military brat. My okay. Dad, my dad was stationed at Camp Lejeune. Um, but yeah, he's from, my dad's from Ohio. Well, my dad is from Buffalo, New York. Okay. But they lived in Ohio um, for the latter years of his like school career, and then he went into the military. Okay. So yeah, and did you grow up there? Uh, I was there for about seven, seven, seven years, maybe. Okay, seven years, and I got. Then we moved to uh, Jacksonville, North Carolina. And then we moved to Wilmington, and then we moved to Selma, North Carolina. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> the sticks, my guy. <laughs> so, do you remember Ohio at all? I do. Okay, what do I you do. remember about it? Uh, mostly just family, just family. Being out, I don't remember much of that, but just the family that yeah had there, yeah. And then where did you move next? You uh, said Jacksonville, Jacksonville, North Carolina. Do you I remember that? I don't remember anything from Jacksonville for whatever reason. It felt I don't think we were there long though. Okay, okay. I think it was just there for a while because that's where he was. My dad was stationed. Okay. And then we moved to Wilmington because that's close to okay. Jacksonville, North Carolina. And then my dad, he wanted. <laughs> I felt like because Selma is so random. Yes, yeah, I felt like they random. grabbed him when my mom grabbed a map and was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Yeah, let's move right here." <laughs> Bro, nobody, <laughs> no family, no nothing was there. Yeah. Anybody. How old were you when y'all got to Selma? Maybe eight. Okay. Eight, yeah, eight okay. or nine. Yeah. So is that where you were the majority of it, your yes. life then? Okay. Yes. Okay. That's where, that's where I learned everything pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you grew up in, in Selma, Selma, North, North Carolina. Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> the sticks. That's my, crazy. my dad, My dad is a musician as well. Okay. Though. My mom, my mom is a singer. I mean, my whole family. My my mom's brothers, my grandma, my dad's dad was a pastor. My 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 grandmother on that on my dad's side was a first lady. Yeah, they all did music. All yeah. my uncles do music. So it was just my dad did a really good job at keeping us around. My brother and my two sisters, all of us around good music. Yeah, he, even though we were like <laughs> kind of. Closed off from the arm, the secular world. Okay, so won't, it won't, it won't no won't play in that. He won't play in that. Not yet. He, he won't. <laughs> if it ain't talking about Jesus, you can't listen to it. Come that was, on, that man. Was, that was my dad. And my my mom was a little more lenient, but my dad was like, "No, we not listening to that." But he kept us around, like you know, the commissions, Fred Hammond, okay. so, you know, the whinings. 
he kept us hip on like. So he he was still he was still oh, on the line. That's what I'm saying. That's it, it took, boy. It's a, it's a funny story though. <laughs> funny story, and I, I hope I'm not jumping ahead. But no, you good. So uh, my dad was just real stern, like you're not listening. To that. So we had to sneak, and I'm talking about. Like my sister, my my uh my the mid the middle girl. So yeah. this, my sister Natalie, Latina, me and then Josh. Okay. So Latina would well, she didn't care. She was listening to her R and B in her room. I mean, she was getting whoopings for it, bro. We call it's funny, but it like amongst the siblings we have a scene, like she was our Rosa Parks for R and B. She was legit getting whoopings for it. So I would just remember like it was like a uh, eighth grade year, right before I'm going to high school. Uh huh. So you know the Voodoo album. Uh, yeah, uh, D'Angelo. Uh, D'Angelo Voodoo album. I couldn't, and I is okay. So I'm backtrack. I'm backtrack. I'm moving ahead. <laughs> so my first time hearing like that underground soul, like yeah. music soul, child, Blau, Erica Badu, Jill Scott. Yeah. My mom was picking me up from baseball practice. Uh-huh. This was middle school. I was in I think seventh seventh grade. Okay. Eight, eighth grade, seventh eighth grade, one of the two, and. Music Soul Child, come on. My mom, she, my mom was, like I said, she was way more lenient about the R&B music. She had her 104.3 on the radio. And what comes on is... And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> what is this? Yeah. So I'm like, I like, hey, mom, can I, can I turn this up? Yeah, I turned it up, bro. The whole ride home. You know how, like math problems all kind of stuff is going through my head like how have i missed this? yeah like i'm just now but I, I mean i grew up on you know the commissions and then it then kimberrell and then ricky diller you know all the yeah the people that gave you that that real yeah. good feel but then i never heard it this way though. yeah so i'm like bro what is this so i remember and this was back in the day. This was early 2000s. This is like, no, this was, no, nah, 2000. I was 2000, yeah. 2000, 2001. So I remember getting home fast. I had a radio in my room. I I played the R&B station until that song came back on. Wow. And I had, so back then you had to use a cassette tape to record it. So you put a cassette <laughs> tape in, hit, hit record. <laughs> <laughs> to get it and I remember yeah. I caught I caught it late I caught it after the I caught it like like after the first couple of words of the first verse because I I, I had to go use the restroom I remember this like <laughs> very I remember it so clearly it's crazy I remember I had to go to the restroom I ran downstairs real quick used the restroom came back upstairs and it was almost like no I hit the, I remember hitting the record button and that was what I, I just played that consistently, consistently, consistently. And then I met it with some friends in middle school that was already hip to like, you know, the arm, the, the underground soul yeah. music. My homie, his name was uh BJ. Okay. He had he had the voodoo album. Um, and I remember like, uh no, 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 no. We okay, funny story. We skipped school. Yeah. <laughs> we skipped school to walk to Walmart yeah. to buy the Voodoo album and just want uh, just want to sing or whatever the first uh, Music Soul Child um, album is. Yeah, I bought the Music Soul Child album. He bought the D'Angelo album, bro. We and if you know where Selma is and where the new it was like the new Super Walmart. Okay, at that time, but it's you know it's Super Walmart now. Yeah, but it's super far so we i mean got ready like we was going to school everything we met up at the stop sign we walked all, wait wait bro. wait so y'all like y'all went through the ritual of bro. going to school yes but we walked <laughs> to walmart he i bought the music soldier album he bought the d uh the d'angelo voodoo album and then once i listened to mine enough we hit each other on the phone hey man we, right, let's trade. <laughs> we traded bro and i'll never forget because i hadn't Heard the Voodoo album. Only thing that was uh, that was playing on the radio was that um, oh, does yeah, it untitled, yeah, untitled. So uh, I remember p- finally getting it and putting it in the CD player, and then <laughs> bro, I remember. I I think I was up twenty four hours, bro. Yo, I could not sleep. It was the craziest, the most fulfilling sound i ever heard bro so listen how are you listening to this with your pops in there? bro but so this at this time my dad was on a weird work schedule oh okay he was working nights so he was sleeping all day <laughs> <laughs> my mom was working like a second shift or first a first or second shift and then my dad was working at third at graveyard shift yeah so i remember like 
Okay, I'm glad you said that because that brings me back to the point I was trying to make. So I remember um, my, I'm listening to it downstairs. We had just got, uh, this is, I think this is like ninth grade. I've been listening to it for a while now, so it's like ninth grade. I'm in, I'm in high school now. I'm getting a little too comfortable. <laughs> so I'm like listening to it downstairs. He comes home early. Like, Ooh. And he, he stops like, Hmm. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> yep, this is it. This is this is this is where this is when I died. This is yeah. the end of my story. And I remember telling him, like, okay, Dad, okay, real quick now. <laughs> Just listen to it. And if if anything that he said is offensive, you you can whoop me, bro. Wow. I'm glad you can whoop me. So we get like a couple of songs into it. He's like, oh, wait a minute, that's a... Uh, that's like a uh, this is a a, re, a rendition of a rendition of uh, Shaka Khan such and such, such. I'm like that, that's what I'm trying. That's what I've been trying to tell you. <laughs> this is what I've been trying to tell you the whole time. He ain't talking, but it's just the the title of the album was so crazy. Voodoo. Yeah. And any and anybody who grew up in the church or <laughs> had voodoo is bro, that's witchcraft. That's witchcraft. <laughs> and <laughs> especially and my dad was a my dad was a, a pastor. But and it's like it's almost like well, you this a slap in the face. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's how he viewed it. Yeah. But after like we had a we had a very wild eye opening conversation that day. Like, wow. That okay. was the day everything changed. So my dad, we started. I remember like a couple of weeks or a month after that, I started a high school band called Cologne. <laughs> oh, Cologne, let's go. <laughs> Cologne, it was me, my brother Josh played sax, I played keys, yeah. my, hom- my homie Sean Lee played bass. Shout yeah. out, okay, another shout out to Sean Lee, bro. I don't, I'm doing all the talking, that's you crazy. You good, that's okay. perfect. But uh, Sean Lee is the one that like, he kept this stuff, like, it, I was stuck on voodoo, and music soul child, but he was like, nah, bro, it's other it's other artists out here that's do it. That's when I that's when I ran into the, you know, the Erica Badu, the Black Thought, the yeah. Roots, uh Jill Scott, who is Ooh. Jill Scott, and then the live Jill Scott, the eight the uh, the plus two, eight twenty six album. Yes. Bro. And then the live Kimberell album yeah. that dropped not around that same time. Yeah. Oh man. And then bro. So your homie's putting you on. Bro, I got um, and I got a guy. Really did a, a really good. I mean, he does a great job, anyways. But I feel like for me personally, I have to give him a lot of yeah, like thanks because yeah. he kept some really key pieces around me, man. Yeah, like, that kept they kept me. They kept you humble. They kept you like, man, yeah, you might be good, but check these these dudes is like, oh man. So it's there's no yeah. there's no point in being arrogant because there's always <laughs> there's always a kid. <laughs> Eight, nine years old, ready to take your spot, bro. And yes. they and every key fluent. Yes. Theory, every they got it down. Like, yes. And they not even blinking. Yes. So like they kept that. They kept the, the, the good music in front of me. They kept me humble. And my brother Josh, uh, who plays saxophone, who never never practiced, never rehearses for anything, and somehow, I don't know. <laughs> that kid, I I I do need to study him somehow. Yeah, because he don't rehearse, he don't practice. Like when me, so I got a band called Nito. Yeah, and when we we if we do practice, we haven't practiced in a while. But if we do practice, Josh don't come. <laughs> he just show up with the songs. He show up like he done rehearse. Like bro, like how do you know these songs like this? <laughs> how are you? I'm talking about lines. He'll hear it one time. Okay, cool. Come back around, I'm like, bro. This kid is so he he definitely needs to be studied. But yeah, no, God did a great job at keeping the key pieces around me, bro. Absolutely, for real, for real. Absolutely, yeah. So you're getting into this music, yeah, yeah, yeah. And y'all start this band. Please tell me about the band. Okay, so in high school, uh, in this particular high school, Triple S, shout out Triple S, shout out to uh, our band director. First, it was uh, uh, um, I don't forgot his name already. It's fine. He know what I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> it'll come back to me. It'll come once I start talking. Yeah, and then after he, after he left, um, there was a guy named Brian Jones. Okay, who really he really taught us how to like run a crew, like really run. You know how it goes to like really come in prepared, having everything X Y Z in line. So when you show up, it's, the respect is already there. Yeah. And then. How to how to go through a rehearsal? How to run? Okay, now we're gonna run this part over until every yeah. He really instilled that in us. But uh, they the jazz band at this particular high school was not so good. 
Okay. Okay. And I mean, rightfully so. Where the location there was <laughs> like, where where are they coming from? Where are these pieces that's going to play this music coming from? Yeah. But you, there's always a ram in the bush. But yeah. this wasn't the it case at this it, time. It so no it right won't no bush. <laughs> it was sticks. <laughs> But no, no bush. So we happen to be the ram in the bush. Me, my brother, uh, my homie Sean Lee, my boy Ricky, Ricky Sanders played drums. Yeah, my boy uh, Aaron, uh, 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 Aaron Freeman, he played uh, congas, and we that was like our that was a band. So he would send us out to do the jazz events or anything. So we it, it got so cool to where we were playing for like grand openings for like big stores like oh, wow. Sam's Club in that area when they opened we played for the the grand opening that's crazy when Walmart did a big event we played for the oh yeah event. that's fire bro it was oh, lit yeah, yeah 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 it Y'all was legit. and they was writing checks to the man we was like hey look, we ain't getting this money hold up <laughs> <laughs> they won't pay y'all nah so what he did was we all you know the band fees we didn't have to pay none of the band fees okay any band trips we went on it was free for us so it was it was cool okay cool we, uh, it was it was we went to Disney World like three times for free for free <laughs> okay I remember our other friends was like man I don't know how I'm about to pay for them we like yeah man <laughs> You better, Stuff you, better, you, better, you better sell some cookies or something, cause you paid yours already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we paid it. We paid. We paid it a while ago, a long time That's ago. Yeah, yeah, facts. <laughs> but yeah, but that, and we became like a thing until I try to make it a a bigger thing. But yeah. You know, these guys, you know, high school when it mm. started getting older, they, everybody saw Aaron went to school to play ball. Yeah, uh, Ricky went to the army. Sean, Sean, well, Sean and Ricky were older than us. Okay, Sean was like two grades above us, and then Ricky was a grade above us. So they was gone, and I tried to keep the, you know, yeah. Going, but you know how it goes. Before you guys split up, did you ever do gigs outside of gigs that the school booked? So yes, okay, yes. So we've we've played for so the mayor of this of that town. We went and we played for his, uh, uh, I think his son's wedding or something like that. Oh, y'all was out no, here. No, we weddings. We were booked for weddings like every weekend for real, for real. Like it was a thing. Like the word had got out, and that was like a predominantly white yeah community, and so, it's small. Super so it small. ain't no dope. Y'all probably the only band in the exactly. city. Exactly. <laughs> So they was like, you know who we going to call? Call the, the Duncan Brothers. Well, who is it? Oh, Cologne? Well, yeah, call them. Like, it was a, it became yeah. a, it became a thing. And then we hooked up with, uh, you remember Marquise Hicks? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. So it, we, t- I mean, that almost was like a, because I was there, Josh, Ricky, we all started. And then Ricky went off to the Army and then Josh was at UNCG. So yeah, he went, yeah no, but I stayed and, you know, that became a. So how did y'all meet Marquise? So it was random. My sister Natalie was singing. Okay, with Marquise. Okay, and she was like, "No, my little brother played keys. Like you should like, yeah." You know? And you know anybody that's older, you're like a little kid playing keys. All right. So you know, but I got in rehearsal. So he was like, "Wait a minute, this is actually my yeah. This gonna be something." So, and thanks to Marquise, I met a lot of. Absolutely, really? because that's how I met you. That's where I met you. Yeah. That's where I met Greg. That's yes. where I met Stephen Pender. <laughs> yes. That's where I met all y'all boys, man. Like, yep. nah, thanks to Marquise, bro. Yeah. Chris Chris Ellis. Yes. Oh, James. Yes, man. James Harris, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Bet James. Yeah. Harris. Yeah, I, boy. Some of the stuff he was doing then, it's just now starting to make sense to me. Yeah. It's like, bro, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 15 years later oh that's what he was doing yeah that kid was yeah you know, well he's not he he older than me but yeah. yeah and did you start playing for marquise like consistently did yes. he say like in the rehearsal was he like all right nah you got it yeah nah yeah yeah. it was like a it, it was a couple of rehearsals i came to one gig one show they had i played i sat in um uh, i forget i can't remember that the guy that was playing i was kind of playing under him okay and I'm not really sure. I just remember he just was there. He won't there no more. And it was just it became just me. Okay. And it was me. And I was I remember coming up with a lot of the ideas that he was okay. using for like, you know, smile and uh um uh Grace, where would I be yes, if it wasn't sir. for Grace? Yes, yes sir. that's so crazy. Yes, sir. <laughs> and another one, uh Smile. Uh no, was it Smile? I can't even think. It's it's another song that I I I like from scratch. Yeah, you know, I can't even remember the name of it now. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Th- crazy. Like, thanks to him, I got a chance to like 
really do some like arranging, some mm-hmm. legit arranging. Somebody... And were you familiar with the idea of arranging before that? Yes. Okay. Yes. But we were, <laughs> Cologne, we were so convinced we were going to play for Jill Scott, bro. No connections, <laughs> no kind of, never met Jill Scott. Don't know anybody that know Jill Scott personally. <laughs> but we were so convinced we were going to play for Jill Scott. One yeah. Day. So y'all so, were Neo so down. Oh, man. I'm talking about we was playing for it. At the time, we was playing for a church called Interstate, which I'm there now. I'm back there now. Okay. But at that time, we were a lot of the things we were doing while we so were playing. So were y'all like, bro, were y'all what? turning the worship songs they into had neo no soul songs? The Saints had no clue. <laughs> they was in that group. They, they was like, oh yeah, this sounds good. And we like, <laughs> 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 they have no clue. This is a Jill Scott tune right here, <laughs> bro. But like, but we we would be in my my mom and dad had a shed a barn that they they, okay. they gave us and we had our. We've been there arranging, just yeah. creating, like non. That's crazy, bro. though. Nah, That's man, dope, man. God, God is very intentional, but he's <laughs> yeah. been really good, man. Yeah. So, how long did you play for Marquise? Mm, a couple of years, maybe. Okay, four or five years. Okay, for a while. What's the big? Do you remember the biggest event that y'all did? So we did. We opened up for. We opened up for Ty a couple of times. Ty Tribute. Yeah, but it was just. It was like the. Uh, I th- it might have been like his album release or something. Okay, remember, okay. Uh, but it okay. was like, that was like a. And where was it at? Uh, I want to say Virginia. It was in VA. Okay. Virginia. Okay. We did. We were on the road quite a bit. Now, that was the biggest one. The most gratifying one was. Okay. We did a gig in Delaware. At, it was like Delaware University or something. Okay, there. okay. Whatever university is in Delaware. Okay. And it was like, I mean, you don't want to, you know, to your own home, but we smacked. Like, <laughs> everybody was there. You know how it go. Everybody yes. was there. <laughs> yes. So, and we had we had just had a rehearsal, and everybody was oh, there. Oh, yeah. Everybody was on time. Okay. So, man, you know Y'all how Y'all checked go. all the boxes All on the this boxes, one. bro. And then when it was time to go, like, this, you know, we got there enough time for a sound check. Oh, when yeah. When it was time to go, it was me on keys. Uh, Gabe was on, uh, Gabe Chart. Yes, Was Lord. auxiliary. Uh, and uh, uh, Chris Ellis is on bass, yeah. and James is on drums. Gosh. But when I tell you, and you know how you know how the Saints get when the music get people, they be coming. They was like they were throwing stuff at us. Like we, but you know we was locked, bro. It was that was the most gratifying. One yeah, for sure. I, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's like a Delaware University. It was at some university. In okay, Delaware, but yeah, that's dope, man. That's, that's that was the the best. Absolutely. At, at the time, it was called. Uh, uh, Divine Unity. Yes, yes, that's the first name. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. And then it became Melchizedek's Order. Yeah. yeah. Were you with him in that transition? Yes. Do you remember it? I do. What made him change the name? Do you remember? We he so if you know Marquise, Marquise was always in his word. Always. Yeah. I'm talking about we was studying, studying, studying. Yeah. Nonstop. Yeah. So he just he happened upon a, a a scripture that led him to wow. to do that. I think he explained it. I don't really remember it right now, <laughs> but at the time it made sense. Oh, okay, yeah, I get where you're going. Okay, yeah, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah. And then the, what, he was definitely trying to separate himself from the whole like you trying to be like Ty Trivia, like yeah. I if if you if you could you would say that if you didn't get a chance to spend time with Marquis, yeah. That would, that's what you would say. Yeah, but if you spend time with Marquis, but oh no, nah, this kid just and wanna, then this it's tough too because like. Like, I remember people, like, saying that. Yeah. But it's like, at the end of the day, it kind of, I get it. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, if that's the same, if if that is the case, yeah. every choir trying to be like every other choir. Exactly. And every quartet group is trying to be like every other quartet exactly. group. Exactly. It, it was <laughs> like, it, it felt, if it was definitely stemmed from, like, a lot of jealousy. Yeah. Because he was getting a lot of recognition. I don't yeah. know if you remember. Yeah. It was almost like, we was getting ready to pop for yes. a minute. Yes. Absolutely. Like it was Absolutely. something getting ready to happen for a minute. Yes. Not really sure. I mean, you know, a lot of things happen, but. Absolutely. But like he was, Marquis yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marquise it, it was, was real a, deal. He was a, he's a, and really, really good dude, man. Like, bro, you don't meet, you don't meet too many people like Marquis. Yeah. Don't play an instrument at all. Yeah, But can, crazy. can map out exactly what he wants. That's crazy. He can explain to you exactly, nah, nah. Yes, and then when you put it together, like, bro, this is genius. <laughs> yeah, he was a didn't play an instrument. That's bro. crazy. I think he dabbled on trumpet for like a, mm-hmm. a hot second, but mm-hmm. 
And did he write all of the songs? Yes. That's crazy. I think he might have had a couple of people help co-write a couple songs, mm-hmm. but the songs that were like, yeah, that was all Marquis. So then he would like, the songs you arranged, he would just sing them to you and y'all would sit down. And, yes. Okay. We would sit crazy. down. And the thing is, when you have like someone who knows what they want, bro, as a musician, when you sit down with artists who know what they want, it's... There is just such a chemistry that just yeah. happens, and we it don't we don't even we didn't even sit down long. It was just like I'm talking about thirty minutes to an hour. Yeah, no, this I think that's the whole song, bro. I think we got it. Wow, bro, bro. man, that's crazy. It was, I mean, it's a lot I learned musically from Marquise for yeah. sure. Yeah, and you know Ty Tribbett, of course, but absolutely, yeah. So, bro, what was the next move that you made after Marquise? I ventured off and did the whole um, Christian artist thing. Okay. And I was calling myself because, okay. I'm ready to laugh already. Yes. Ready to be got it out. So because because I was a big fan of the Neo Soul, uh, also the great songwriters like John Mayer, uh, yes. uh, Chris yes. Martin, like yes. I knew I wanted to, in the long haul, like write about other things. Yeah. So I was already... I came into it labeling myself an inspirational artist. Okay, so you were smart enough to not make yourself a gospel no, sir. artist. I, I just, and in this, and then growing up, you know, growing up so in the church, so close to everything, you are no holler. I don't yeah. know if I want to go this route. Yeah. This ain't really me. Is it because I, you know, I grew up on commission, like that old. Yeah. <laughs> so this is this is a little different. I Man, I love a good cortex. I know yeah. I love I love good choir and stuff. Yeah. But it just you know that if I was if I'm gonna be true to myself, that's yeah. just not me. Absolutely. So, inspirational artist was definitely the best route. Okay. So uh, I got a chance to do. Oh, I hate I do. I'm gonna have to do this. <laughs> I got a chance to do Stella Awards. Oh, and okay. Let's go. It was in Nashville this year. Okay. This particular year. This okay. Was, I don't even want to get a date because I don't even want y'all to pinpoint exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> but uh, I remember I got the chance to do it. You know, I had my sister, my homie. Yeah. Uh, my homie's with me, Chris. Yeah. Uh, Chris Adams played keys. I was playing, I was going to play bass and sing, you know, yeah. the, whole, the Jonathan, I mean, Jason Nelson thing. Yeah. Play, play bass and sing and whatnot. Uh, and I had uh, my little homie, Corey Wooten, who was going to play guitar. Um, and... Uh, we had a drummer there. Oh, Eric. I think it was Eric Newwood. I don't remember who the drummer was at the time. Anyways. <clears throat> but, you know, so I get there. Uh, and, you know, I'm I'm seeing a lot of... <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of things that, you know, at this time at this time in my life, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm freshly married. So I'm like, you know, I'm a Jesus freak at this point. Like, oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm Jesus everything. You know, <laughs> if it ain't lining up... <laughs> With Jesus, I ain't doing it. I got, this is where I am. And so you go state. to the Stella Awards thinking you going I'm to a gospel award. This is the, a Jesus I'm award going show. To the Stella Awards thinking we about to have a a true experience <laughs> <laughs> with our Creator. And I'm 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 looking at I'm like, well, what is going on here? <laughs> what is going on here? I was so vexed though, bro. Wow. To, I I didn't even perform, didn't even perform. So I remember like from being vexed, bro, couldn't do it. Wow, couldn't do it. So it, it, I and I didn't realize how in my mind, like, oh, I ain't no quitting. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do what I came to do, but yeah. I couldn't do it, bro. Wow. Could not do it. Everybody that came with me was upset. Everybody was mad at me. We're like, bro, we had like, the Stella Awards. We, 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 we done drove to some 12, some 10, well, however many hours it is. 10 hours get here, blah, blah. You mean like. So, you know, after that experience, I remember, like, yep. That's when you made the decision. I can't do this, y'all. I remember I dropped my next single was um Dream Big. That was like, that was like my <laughs> introduction into my the segue. <laughs> <laughs> it was still Christian enough. <laughs> <laughs> and it made me feel good because you know I didn't I I, I was quote unquote standard the sound was low it was kind of techno ish <laughs> EDM ish but at this point I didn't care I just needed to go ahead and give me give me a smooth transition so yeah I so I remember me and my brother started doing these like you know these gigs my brother started doing um you know like restaurant gigs with 
this guy named Chris Overstreet. Okay. White dude. Okay. Oh, crazy. Crazy. Could sing super talented. He used a loop pedal. <laughs> yeah. He had no band. But like when he get to go, I'm like, bro, who is playing with this dude? Like <laughs> it felt like he had a full yeah. band. So my brother was he playing sax with him. They was doing like all the bars in that in the RTP area. They yeah. was hitting all of them. And my brother came to me, but he was like, bro, we can make a killer Eric <laughs> out here, bro. We just need to get us a little set list together. About two, three hours worth of songs. We are but me and my brother have grown up in music together. Yeah. My brother is Josh is responsible for my my liking of like pop rock rock. Okay. Eighties okay. rock. The okay. police. Yeah. Uh, bro, uh, uh 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 Tears for Fears. Yeah. Bro, it, he was he was the reason why I, John May I started listening to John Mayer. Yes. And once I heard John Mayer, bro, it was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. This is, John is another world. John is another yeah, world. Yeah, John bro. is another world. When it comes to, like, jo what makes John so special is he's going to give us the soul yes, sir. of blues and R&B. Yes, sir. But he's going to give us the songwriting art of country oh. music. That's what makes John crazy. He can tell a story. <laughs> he can tell a full life story <laughs> in one stanza. That's like, bro, I felt all of that. Yo, it's crazy. He <laughs> is a genius, bro. Yeah. I was just, we was just, we was right over here. We were listening to John. I was like, bro, he is a genius <laughs> lyricist, man. Yeah, man. John is nice. He really is. But my yeah. brother Josh was the reason why I started listening to that. So I listened to Coldplay, U2, yes. Mufford and Sons. Oh my like, God. Bro, Josh is the, So he put you on all that. Josh, ear. It, Josh, my brother's songwriting and wow. ear. I, I'll put him up against anybody. Absolutely. When like, yeah. When it comes to that, like, I'll put him up against anybody. But yeah. yeah. So me and my brother, we grew up together. So we knew, already knowing all of these songs. Mm hmm. I just had to, you know, get it under my fingers at that time because yeah. I was doing my piccolo bass thing by yeah. this point. Oh, that's another thing I want to ask yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So let's go back. Okay, okay. Because okay. I want I want to know. Okay, okay, okay. How old were you when you started playing keys? Uh, fourteen. My fourteenth birthday. Okay. My thirteen. Well, thirteen. My brother taught me. Uh, red lights and yeah, down from glory. Yeah. He taught me that on keys, and uh, it was like a Saturday. My birthday fell on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then that Sunday, I played it at church. At the church, it won't. For, I wish I could have played it for church, <laughs> but my brother played it for church while um, I sang. Okay, and then at the church is over. Me and Ricky Sanders, the one I mentioned him already. <laughs> we we played that, and then we just I just started <laughs> no training, just started hitting the black keys. <laughs> And finding my way on the bass line. Like, man, this is a whole song. <laughs> like, you know how it go? I'm like, bro, yeah. you can make a song like this. And my mind just, I'm like, every day, Whoa. every day for, it's amazing how hungry we were back then. Oh, yeah, bro. it was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so you could, bro. Yeah, that's real. I, and boys going, hey, man, we about to go hoop, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be out there in a little bit, man. <laughs> Eric, how come you ain't pull up? Man, I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuck, man. I was trying, like, yeah. But like, bro, my yeah, my fourteenth birthday, I started playing keys, and it just, it just took off from there. My dad played keys. My uncle played organ. Um, I got a couple of or uh, uncles that played organ. My uncle Daryl played organ. Mm -hmm. He's from Wilmington. Yeah. My uncle Terrence in Ohio played organ. My dad played keys. My dad had a uh, my dad. That's, that's the thing, like. I talked to my dad like recently. Uh -huh. like, man, your whole style was R and B. Like, how wow. come you? Wow, <laughs> he must was just trying yeah. to make sure he raised his kids That's, up, right? I, and and it's like, I day, know what I got into back in the days, and I don't want to do it. At the end of the day, that's exactly what it was. So right? he like, if I, he like, the music is the gateway to the sin. <laughs> so I got to eliminate the sin, so they can't listen to the music. <laughs> Fact, which is a that is a, it's a really smart way of raising the kids. Yeah. Yeah. I just and it's like it's a lot of R older R and B songs that we hear now that our friends be like, oh yeah, that we don't even know. Like, dang, I don't even. You be like, oh man, dang, like I wish they, I be telling them, man, I wish they wouldn't have kept us from this, bro. <laughs> yeah, this songs we need, yeah. bro. But we, you I mean, know, we can because of everything we have access to, we can yeah. even get to that music now. Yeah. Um, but yep, fourteen, I learned to play keys. And then what about bass? Bass came. I was already out of college. It okay, was, I was like twenty. 
one, maybe twenty one. Okay, okay. Twenty one. Kyla, yep, because Kyla wasn't even born yet. Okay. No, Kyla was born. Yep, Kyla was born. Okay. And that's when I did my my did my hard dive okay. into the bass. First it was guitar. Like yeah. some lady at the church gave me a guitar. I'm like, okay, well shoot, we lit. <laughs> so yeah. I started, you know, plucking around on it. Then it, I, I picked up a bass. I'm like, oh, this is a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, one note at a time. <laughs> well, no, I, I think I could do this. I mean, you know, watching James bounce yeah. around on multiple yeah. instruments. Like, bro, it's 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 a science of this. <laughs> so I remember I would hit James up for all kind of tips. Yeah. Like, hey, man, just, and you know, finger your thumb, this thumb sore because you only playing with one thumb. You only playing with one finger. That part. It's yeah, one Messing string. Your skin up, <laughs> boy. Your skin can't play no. Got to play keys on Sunday morning. Like, ah, ah, God. Oh, uh, <laughs> anybody got some tape? I gotta tape this up. But yeah, I did my hard dive with bass, and I, I made it a thing. Like when I did my, you know, when I was doing Christian music. And like I had two, it was a bass player, and I was playing real bass. And then my homie, his name is uh, 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 what's Reggie's last name? Jessup. Okay, Reggie Jessup, Reginald Jessup, bro. Okay, let me tell you something. I owe, I owe him so much, bro. <laughs> yeah. He said it. It. Could we? I was playing for at this time CFC Christian Faith Center. Okay. And he was like, "Hey man, you should put piccolo strings on that." I'm like, what is? I don't even know what that is, bro. He said, he said, don't even worry, I got some. He brought he brought the piccolo strings to me the next Sunday. Wow. He said, yeah, just put these on there, and then and then redo your dive into this, bro. <laughs> I do it to this day, like yeah. I've and it's it's definitely it's definitely fun. It's like it's like a little wow factor, especially when you got other uh, musicians in the audience. Yeah, because guitarists, Bill. <laughs> You'll see they face like what is happening, <laughs> and they'll literally get close to the stage and be looking at me like, "Hold up, bro! Like, that's a bass. <laughs> Why does your bass sound like a guitar, man? Like, and I'm, and, and it's a good conversation. Yeah, you get to meet people. People get to like get closer to you and and kind of feel your energy and feel yeah. what you're about and feel that you're actually a a good, a good guy who's yeah. really out here trying to do this music. So that conversation always like is is I I really that's why. I, I kept the uh, piccolo bass versus like my homie was like man you should just do guitar bro just just go ahead and just get you in the cool but that's blah, blah, blah. unique though I'm like bro yeah I'm like okay yeah yeah so I, I learned I learned it just so I can know how to get around them, okay just in case I need it but like nah this is yeah this is nobody else is, y'all, I'm not I don't want to be like y'all though. yeah <laughs> that's what that's what y'all do I get it y'all what you doing is great man I love what you're doing bro. <laughs> That ain't what I want to do though. Yeah. Like, this is this feels like yeah. this feels like me is different, and it's just I don't know. I just had a I just had a a liking to it that I just couldn't put down. So, so you yeah. got you got the bass with the piccolo strings. Yes, Your brother has sir. convinced you that y'all can make a killing. Yes, sir. Okay, <laughs> good. That's good. Good. This is good. Good job. <laughs> so yeah. So uh, he was like, yeah, man. He's like, I got a couple. He's like, I got a couple of relationships with some of these uh, GMs and some of these bars, man. We're gonna get booked. We just gotta. We gotta. You know, we gotta X, Y, Z. You know, make sure we on time. We gotta make sure. You know, we ain't boring people. I'm like, cool, cool, cool. So, bro, we're making a killing. Bro, bro, listen to me. And at that time, this was like 2014. Okay, okay. 2014. So this is like the beginning of social media. Bro, bro. Food ain't as high as it is right now. Exactly. It's the the golden age, bro. (laughs) Yes. We're, bro, two from... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, y'all working Saturday? Cause we Friday. Friday was always tough because they wanted the big bands on Friday. Yeah, understandable. It was just me and him duo. Like you get a little duo set. Yup. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday, bro. Every week. Every oh, yeah. week. <laughs> every week. Two fifty a every day. Two fifty. And at that time. <laughs> God. I was like, bro, we make it, bro. We, hey, it's up, bro. Yo, that's money, bro. We that's making real money, really good money. But as you know, um, see, I'm about to get into the whole, <laughs> might get to the personal side of Eric. So you know, doing that, married <laughs> with a kid, 
Yeah, that, 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 it's gone. It ain't, it ain't really. That ain't really gone. And uh, and at the time, it was a new one on the way. Madison was on the way. <laughs> okay, so it was like, um, yeah, you out. Yeah, you you out making. Yeah, I get it. But uh, yeah, we need we we hey we need you at home. Yeah, because like, right. every like four nights a week, it's crazy. Yeah. Now looking back, it's like Eric, you didn't do that right at all. So, so your wife preferred your presence over that money. Roger is the way you say it. Is that how I sound when I sing? And I think I sound good. <laughs> <laughs> so, some people don't have that. Like some right. people don't have people cheering them on or telling them that they believe in them. And it's just like that's what I'm trying to be on. I lost myself, and I feel like once I lost myself, everybody knew I did because I didn't really act the same. You try to change who you are mm -hmm. so that people can have better opinions about you. I am a new me, Ooh. and I'm okay with that. Hi, this is Nay, and that was Nay's Place. If you want to catch more, search Nay's Place on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and RXS Entertainment YouTube channel. Let's talk. Boy. <laughs> Listen. Let's talk. They. I don't even want to. I don't even want to. I don't even want to group it as they. <laughs> Humans. Let's say that. <laughs> Humans will say one thing when another thing is lacking. And then you're like, all right, I'm here. And then you're and like, then, what, we. Well, <laughs> we got to pay. What, what you, hey, hold up. <laughs> hold up. Choose ye this you day. You said. <laughs> Cause I at, I remember I became a stay at home dad when Madison was born. Okay. I'm like, yeah, no, y'all gonna I'm be here then. Let's get it. I'm here. <laughs> um, wait a minute. <laughs> no, no, this is what you said you wanted. Hold up, hold up. I remember. I remember specifically. Yeah. You said you need me here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm here, here now. now. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to figure out how to how to make money and be here at the same time. But you go to work from eight to five. I, it's not. That's not making sense to me, man. And the but the crazy thing is, when we do have these conversations, it is important for for people who are not creative and not musical to understand the value of it being work for us. Exactly. So it's like. Okay, you worked from eight to five. They don't you see off. it. Now I'm finna go to work. They don't see from that. seven to eleven. All they see is you about to go out and party with your <laughs> friends. No, this work. I'm, I'm literally the setup and the breakdown <laughs> is, is work, bro. That's crazy yeah. work. We were providing our own sound, like yeah. and we didn't do the little, you know the little Bose speakers that they do. Nah, we had, had real legit okay because I, you know. Tone and everything. It makes a difference. Bro. It makes a difference. It's gotta. Yeah. It is. It is the most important. Absolutely. Presentation is everything. everything. And for new people, you only get one time. Yes, sir. <laughs> After that one time, they hear you. I mean, it was cool. They ain't. They ain't yeah. busting down doors to come see you yeah. no more though. But if it's the sound, the tone, everything is correct and right. Not correct, but. It feels good to yes, them. Yes, yes. They remember how you made them feel. Yeah. Period. So we was that setup and that breakdown was enough. That's work. That's so much work. That's work. And then I started implementing the kick drum, like you know, like Mumford and Son. Yeah. So I was, I was, yeah. While I'm playing guitar, like, yeah. And then like using a keyboard to sustain like a a, a, a sus chord, like, <laughs> just so it didn't feel empty. So just Yo, sustain a sus chord. You're you're actually working very hard, bro. I'm doing. And <laughs> That's my a lot. And my brother used to be like, bro, how are you doing all this at one time? <laughs> it, I don't, and I don't even know how to explain it. It's just I think. God has just blessed me to be able to. Yeah, just, I'm just wired differently. Yeah, I guess. yeah. But it's a lot of things I can't do. <laughs> but I just I don't know. I can compartmentalize when it's yeah. time to like yeah. when it's time to go. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We was doing Muffin and Sons. <laughs> What's the Muffin and Sons we used to do? Sing song, sing song, sing song, sing song, sing song, sing song, sing song. Read for yourself, man. Yes, bro. <laughs> but we used to get the bars jumping off that one though. Yo, 
Oh, oh man, they would literally be singing. It's not your fault for my. <laughs> yeah, and they, and they drunk too, bro. Drunk, <laughs> throwing tips. Oh, not even including the tips. So that's two fifty plus tips, bro. We and you had to it. shut that down. <laughs> Josh was so mad. Josh was so mad. <laughs> when I tell you, Josh was mad. It only lasted for a little while because it was like, okay, so you, in my mind at this time, I'm like, so you're going to be mad either way. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'd rather, yeah. I'd rather go ahead, you know, get this money. Yeah. I'm going I'm to I'm be here. <laughs> yeah. But then when you get home, it's, you know, it's yeah. your turn. Like, yeah. I'm going to just get here at two. Three, yeah, <laughs> tired as all, and then got to get up at this time. That's when I started teaching too. Ooh, By the time I started teaching, okay, because I started teaching because of oh, you know, all of that. So you would have just kept doing that. I would have just kept doing that. So you started teaching the kind of that was your transition yeah, out. Yes. Okay. So you start teaching. So explain the timeline between stay at home. Dad. Everything is so jumbled together, bro. And then teaching. And it's where, where funny. Did it all come at? It's so funny because now it's trying to explain to people. It's like, bro, when did you have time to make all these transitions? <laughs> but these, these transitions were happening. To me, it just felt like such a long time because being away from something you love dearly. Oh, yeah feels like an eternity <laughs> yeah so it just it felt like i was away from it for like months but it probably been like a week or two <laughs> realistically about like two weeks i'm like man i can't believe we missed out on, on this money for these two weeks well they don't matter we back at it bro where we yeah. at where we at this week yeah but like so the i don't even i honestly can't even tell you the trace i just remember my like, okay eric you need to do something that is gonna bring in some money that she respects at that time because it's ultimately I hate to say it like that. It sounds so dirty, it's but true. they don't. They don't respect it as a as a job. N- n- nobody. Like <laughs> it's more respected now. Yes, but then yes. it's like I remember like after the gigs, you know, the bar gigs, we talking amongst you know the corporate guys. Yeah, they, they kind of looking down on like oh, you do. Oh, you do this music thing. Oh, cool. Yeah, right. but you want to know what's crazy? Yeah, become successful enough. <sighs> And all of a sudden, man, I got stories. Man. I guess it is a job. <laughs> if it, because th- think about it, <clears throat> it's how we're programmed. Yes. If you work at McDonald's <laughs> and you make three hundred dollars at the end of the week, and I go play a gig for two and a half, two hours and a half hours, and make that same three hundred dollars. <laughs> Why is it not respected? Like, why are you not thinking? Like, about do it like I that? have to like slave for eight hours a day in a setting where I have to do the same thing over and over, and then it's a job? No, it need to look like I'm. It need to look like I'm miserable. <laughs> and then that's when you work it. I got. I got. I need to look like I'm miserable while I'm playing. Oh, I hate doing this for it to be respected. Like, no, I'm like, bro, this is easy yeah. money. <laughs> you mean to tell me I get to do this and not even blink? This is we do this. Yes. We've done this we've been trained to do this our entire lives. Yes. Church, this is it. Yes. I'm good. Three hours is it? Oh man, say less. Yes. <laughs> Cause with them at, at that time it's it's, it's bar music. So yeah. you ain't the focal point. Yeah. They just need to hear something in the background. Yeah, you just so, keeping the vibes going. Man, we yeah. done took, we done we done traded solos for 15 <laughs> minutes on one core progression. <laughs> they yeah. don't even know all they're doing it eating every look yeah like yeah it sounds good all right they back to talking to their conversation yes and then you hit them with something they know oh, oh yeah, no, yeah. So, bro, easy yeah. money but they don't i don't I, so did y'all ever have a conversation where we got to more respect for it did that ever happen not really no nah, and, 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 and that, so <laughs> based off how you're talking i could tell you don't know so we're we're divor- we we're divorced. Okay. 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 Divorced okay. four years. Four okay. years now. Okay. Um. Uh. So you know the conversation, <laughs> the conversation that was supposed to be that, was me saying, you know, I'm I'm getting ready to quit this teaching thing because I'm gonna go ahead and pursue. Okay. So let me backtrack. But prior to that, we got an opportunity to do a, a mini tour with the band called Jet Black Alley Cat. Okay. In New York. And it, this is still you and just you and your brother? So they said, so they love what we did as a duo. Cause we, we did a, a, go, a gig with them in, in Nashville. Okay. But it was just a duo. It okay. was cool. It was cute. Okay. But we was on a lineup with four other Come bands. Come on, y'all so need it was, it was like, wait, wait. They said, but in order to do that, bro, y'all got to pull, this up, y'all gotta pull the full band together. 
So we put a full Eric Norwood, um, um, a guitarist, I can't even think of his name, and then me and my brother. Okay. So it was just a, a, a nice little four piece. Yeah. Y'all getting what y'all getting enough of what y'all want. Yeah. For real. For real. Yeah. Uh, oh, and then uh Pete. Uh you know Pete uh Pete Singh. Peter Singh. Mm-mm. He played guitar. I don't know. He a lawyer too, but he played guitar. No, uh, I didn't. You he gotta... played because he played for he played for Mike George's. That's where I met him. Okay, he was okay. playing guitar for Mike yeah. George. Yeah, but yeah, he also played bass. But mm-hmm. so he played bass with us while we was in New York because he was living in New York at the time. Oh wow. Okay. So we didn't even have to get him. Oh, that's That's less money. So we got we got a chance to do that, and after doing that, okay, backtrack some this more. Good. Go ahead. Man. Take more. your time. Take your time. So I remember telling Josh like, "Hey man, we need to do this like." Art, artist thing for real, for real, Josh. He was like, yeah, no, nah, ain't no money in there. <laughs> Josh, not in there. Because Josh to... know his money in, he, he his money at the bars, but we're, not hitting the pavement. Bro, because we're making, the relationships is getting stronger. More relationships are coming in. More GMs are hitting us up. So and the, and then we get to increase our price because oh, our value is going So he, he trying to stay on the bar scene because the money more guaranteed. Man. Okay. He, From a business perspective, he's smart. May, he's smart. <laughs> oh, Josh is... Josh is an English major, <laughs> yeah, political science major. Oh double yeah, major. Josh. Is, so he going by the book. Josh he going is, common sense. Listen here, we, hey, are, we making money here. Why you want to do that? That don't make no sense. Eric. <laughs> that don't make no sense. <laughs> and after the conversation we just had about what you uh, and, and your wife just talked about, I think we need to do this. <laughs> but I'm like, bro, no, I see like his songwriting. He done showed me songs he's written. Yeah. I, I, he already heard the songs I've written. I'm yeah. like, bro, like Josh, we can make this a crazy thing bro yeah so we get a chance to do the uh um the mini tour but just yeah. like alley cat shout out to my boy joe yeah uh um and then after that he's hyped josh like oh yeah oh, no, Eric. so that that one gig changes mine bro because it was it was so it we, we did five we did five dates oh uh. so it was uh we did black bear bar left fields pianos arlene's grocery I can't remember. Maybe it was just four. Okay. I think it was five though. Okay. But we did, it was just, just a tour of the city. Like, okay. Of, of New York City. It was just a tour in New York City. And after that, like the response of like, you know, the people like really gravitating to, because we were only doing original music. We didn't do no covers. We did all original smart. songs. And but at, they weren't recorded. No. Nah, they weren't oh, recorded in time. Okay. They weren't recorded. Not yet. <laughs> so after, after on the ride home from New York, Josh was like, hey, no, bro, we got to do this. When we get back, I'm booking studio time. We get, bro, bro. I'm like, see, I tried to told you, bro. I tried to told you, bro. This is what we should have been doing. But I don't care. I'm just hyped that he hyped. So yeah. we get back. We record the little, we court the little, the little EP that we yeah. had. Yeah. You know, baby. Put so, so, so I got to stop. All right, stop. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Where we at in the marriage? Okay, with the I need to know. Yeah, we getting there. We're I getting need there. to know. We getting there. We getting there. We getting there. Because it all, it all. This is okay. I got you. I got you. So we get back. Josh book studio time. We record everything. We get everything lined up. And at this time, I'm like, "Hey, man! In order to really do this, I'm gonna have to chill on this teaching thing." Ah, oh, that's what there the friction is. is. There enters friction. So I'm like. Ooh, you have to have this conversation, bro. Ooh. You got to have this conversation with her. Because the first time, and I ain't even going to get into that story. The first time I quit a job, I didn't tell her. It didn't go so well. You know, that was a whole. What? Wait, because you didn't tell her. Eric. I didn't tell I know. But you know, you're young so, okay. and young. Oh, so young. You, I was okay. young and young. So 22, listen. 21, So 22. you can't, you, even though you're not going to tell me the story, All right. at least tell me how she found out that you quit. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you okay, I'll give you some points. Here we go. So I gotta tell you that story. Okay, cool. So I was I was doing I was a custodian at a, a middle school. Okay. Uh I was there for like a year and a half. Okay. And you know they do their 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 uh quarterly assessments. They okay. bring you in. The manager he'll bring you in and tell you what you need to work on, okay, what you're doing well at, and uh uh you we're letting you go or we're keeping you on for next year. Okay. So, you know, the, the manager brings me into his office. Oh my god. A closet. I don't know. It was super small. <laughs> and he had a desk. He's sitting on his side of the desk. I'm sitting on the other side of the desk. And he's like, he said, Yeah, man, you no, you're doing real, man. I, you remind me of a young me when I got started. And I'm like, hold up. <laughs> Is this it for me? <laughs> oh nah, I ain't no way this it for me, bro. <laughs> Yeah. People, people know me out here, bro. Yeah, ain't no way this it for me. <laughs> nah, I gotta do this music thing. So I remember, like, I gave it. I put my. I remember the next day I put my two weeks notice in. 
Because you didn't like, like, hold on. Nah, because to me, it felt like death. That yeah. felt like this is a time, I'm timing my death. Yeah. Do you think you would have worked longer if he wouldn't have made that statement? More than likely. <laughs> more than likely would have. I know for a fact, but him, God said, no, nah, let me make him say this so you can, but even though God set it all, set all that up for me, I didn't make the best decision by not telling Yeah, that's where you, my, that's, that's where you time. dropped the ball at. So, we, at, and it's funny because right after we quit, right after I quit, when I put my two weeks on in, when I was done, I up and moved my family to carry <laughs> yo wow Bro, so you did crazy. two things you I did two was, things at one time that you should never do i had to get out of smithfield bro okay I, it was it even when i go there now they're 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 you know they're building some things there now to make it look a little more lively but even the weather it just when you get there it just get real gloomy in smithfield <laughs> i'm like bro what and i remember driving home from church from interstate minutes like yo nah i gotta get out of here bro this nah like yeah. hearing him say that like, it's a lot of things that ain't lined up to where I want to to where I'm trying to yeah. go yeah so I uproot my whole family move to carry <laughs> my wife so you had she, enough money to do that yes that might have been all the money you had that was it <laughs> that was it I gotta figure the rest of it out but I know I'm getting us up out of here that's all I know I'm gonna get us out of here and we gonna figure it out from there which probably would have went way better at that time because we were freshly married so you know you know it's, it's a little oh. different she probably been like okay y'all you know i got you we could she probably would have been a little more lenient on, uh, lenient on, your, on, your on with the plans but you know not me i'm i'm like yeah no nah, i ain't telling her, <laughs> I <told> her this. <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out, and then after I got a plan, because I could figure stuff out fast. I'm like, you know, by the time I, I would even have to tell her, I have I'm another job. Had, boom, we lit. <laughs> she go, we get there, we moved all in the, the nice apartment. She's like, ah, oh, smile. It's all, it's all good. She go to work. She come back. She go to work one day. She come home early. I'm sitting at home, <laughs> and she come in. <laughs> I. Why are you not at work? <laughs> that com- that you know that that got that went crazy. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. That whole conversation got crazy. Some things thrown. It was some. It was that was a wild conversation. So <laughs> fast forward to this time. To this time, like Eric, yeah, we ain't trying to head out again because you got you know you got Kyla and you got a little one. You got a little little one now. Yeah. So you got to make sure you know. Matter of fact, you might need to hold Madison while you tell her. Like, <laughs> so you got some protection. so you got some protection. Like hey, 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 don't swing on me this time. But <laughs> so I remember you know, hey, in order for this to work, you got to tell her. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, man. So I'm thinking about quitting you know teacher thing yes. and going full time like music really good we got this set up we got this set up with some things that can possibly happen this is like 2018 okay 2017 2018 and immediately no hesitation no <laughs> straight no you're not doing that we're not doing that that's dumb that i remember that's dumb that's stupid that makes no sense <laughs> Wait, hold up. You didn't even give it. Did you even think about what I said at first? Did you even let it run its course in your brain? <laughs> Nothing. Just n- no. Like, she already knew what I was about to say. Like, oh, I see where this is going. No, we're not doing that. Like, so that was like the, that was the beginning of the end. Yeah. Because I, and then it was like a, a she, her realizing that. For a long time, she's going to come second to music. Um, and that's tough to say out loud. But she, her realizing that was like, oh, okay. If I let you do this, I'm, I'm, I'm on the back burner. That's what she's thinking. That's what she's thinking. Mm. So, you know. <laughs> so, I quit. So, oh, regardless yeah. of what she said, you quit. So I can see how this marriage is ending. It's over. <laughs> it's over. And it, she and, gave you an infallible no. Yep. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm doing it. Yo. <laughs> I'm doing it. I just wanted to bring you in. That's all I like. <laughs> I really just wanted to warn you. I really, I really won't ask you, know. you for, for permission. Not I'm just letting all. you know. I'm, I'm keeping you hip to what's happening in Eric Duncan's life. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, last time, you know, didn't go so well. <laughs> Want to at least do the right thing by letting you know, but uh, cool. 
<laughs> Got it. Still going to quit. <laughs> <laughs> and so for a year, I mean, it's going strong. So at this time, it's Nito. Nito was a whole thing. Yes. We, done brought in, we done brought in some new strong pieces to Nito. Okay. Javen Finch on bass. Yeah. Uh, Nemo Miller on guitar. Yes, Lord. Howard Artist on drums. Oh, oh, heavy what? hitting. We not playing. <laughs> We not playing. We making crazy noise. Yeah. This was t- all of 2018 into 2019. And I remember Howard was getting ready to move to Nashville. Uh-huh. That hurt you. Oh, because I know when Howard leave, it, who, el- who else we going to get to play drums? Yeah, because especially, and, and oh, this is a good place to shout out okay. Howard. Oh, my God. Especially when he's that unique. Oh. Like, of course you can find another drummer. But it ain't cool. It's not going to be Howard, though. It ain't. And, and, and then, you know, Javen being a bass player, yes. well, he's a keys. A lot of people don't know this. Yeah, Javen's he, main he, instrument is piano. Yes, he's a beast on piano. He just happens yes. to play bass. And then he's, like, gotten really he's good at it. Like, smacking. his bass language is crazy. His vocabulary it's, is. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> so them together. And then you got to. See, see, now I got to give him a history, history lesson. Okay, okay, okay. The Wilson crew. Oh. It's a thing. Man. It's a real thing. We talk about it. <laughs> They don't know. <laughs> it's a real that thing. Wilson community don't know, but we talk about them religiously. Yeah, it's a thing. We got a thing. It's a thing in Wilson, bro. <laughs> it's a thing. Either so, you, either you either you fight game man or you play music, bro. <laughs> Y'all boys done in every yeah. all. It's like I haven't met one dude that say they from Wilson that play like. If, if he played, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm from Wilson. Oh, wait, put him on the gig. <laughs> put him on the gig immediately. Right now. You're hired. Yeah. You're hired. Don't so to have that combo, oh. it's like, oh. And I know, and, and you know, like, they not, Javen and Demo, they not staying if, they not staying if he leave. I already know. I yeah. know why it's going. And it's, and, I, and at the time, I'm not, I'm cool. Like, I get it. So it's like we did like, it was like our farewell, con- our farewell concert with, um, with uh, IG and, um, she had a band she called Beast too. Um, um, it's my X Men. Yes. God, they are incredible. We did our show with them in Durham at the Fruit. It was that was by far one of the craziest like turnouts we've ever had. Yeah, I well, rem- it would be the last one, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, and, and I and I was I remember trying to convince like Javen and Nemo like, no, nah, this don't have to be it. Like we can yeah. like because. The noise is crazy. Like, yeah. for us to stop right now is gonna be, yeah. Like that could be, yeah. The end. <laughs> hang of it up. I'm going back to uh, teach it. <laughs> I'll tell the kids about my good old days when I had a band. Like, oh yeah, yeah. No, I had a band back in the day. Yeah. But what did y'all do? I mean, we was on the, we was on the, we was getting ready to do some things, but we didn't really do nothing. <laughs> but like, <clears throat> like that turnout, bro. Mm-hmm. I remember leaving. We set up. Marty did our Marty did our sound. He's incredible too. What? The show was phenomenal. We yeah. had we had fits. We oh had y'all! The whole, oh, we it's the whole it thing together, bro. It okay, was, we did like a whole little treatment uh, leading up to it, like you know the post and oh, all. Yeah. It was, bro. I remember setting up. We was there at nine a.m., bro. Oh, yo, this up. serious. We leak, you know, Marty, Marty not playing about oh, Marty no. not playing about <laughs> none of that. I don't care what you got going on the night before. Y'all better be here at nine o'clock when it's time to set up. Or he gonna he gonna have an attitude the whole night and you ain't trying to deal with that because you need your sound to be sweet. So it's like, hey bro, please make sure y'all here at nine o'clock. Yeah. So we got there at nine o'clock, everybody set up, did what they're supposed to do. We leave, go get dressed, we got some food, come back, line is wrapped all the way to the if you know what that, if you know anything about the fruit in Durham, there's a railroad track that's okay. here. The line is through the door, back right around, all the way to the railroad track. That's crazy, bro. I'm walking up like, is is this our show, bro? Yeah. It's some uh, the drummer for uh, the drummer for Justin Timberlake for the Tennessee Kids. I can't remember his name. Brian Fraser Moore. Yes, he was there, bro. It was it, bro. When I I I got pictures. They don't do it justice, but I got pictures from that night, bro. It was by far the craziest. That's wild. Night. It was it was so bittersweet because I was definitely sad on the inside because I already know like that. Yeah, this yeah, this the last big show we got a chance to do like the uh, I think it was like the African American Culture Festival. Okay, 
which was our last show for real, for real. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was all 2019, and then the pandemic happened. So either way, y'all were through. Either <laughs> way, <laughs> we was through. Yeah. So. And did Howard still move even in the pandemic? Yeah. Howard left. Howard left right before the pandemic, though. I think he was already gone, and then the pandemic hit. I got you. Because it was like the pandemic hit like 2020, March. It was crazy because it was like I got divorced, and then the pandemic. Wait. Bro, it's, bro, it's, I'm Wait. telling you, I got, I'm, I'm a writer. I really am so a writer. So the divorce writer, happened writer. in the midst of this? Bro. What? Bro. Because we still didn't get to that. Um, I remember. So she, hold on. Did she come to you like, listen here? It was a it was a mutual. It decision. was a mutual. Okay, that's after, good. After a very heated conversation, and it's it wasn't the it wasn't the conversation of you quitting. It was another uh, heated. It con- was another heated conversation, and it was just like you know what? Yeah, I think we gotta do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For the for the sanity of both of us. Yes, <laughs> yes. We gotta do this. So. Continuing to do this music thing. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, okay, okay. Because this is the human side of us. Right. So, up until this point, yeah, your band and your wife, yeah, that's been your life. Yeah. You're losing them both. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> Jesus. And then. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. And then the world shuts down. Yeah. And you can't go out. You can't do nothing. I'm, I I remember being so depressed, bro. Mm. Bro, in my room. I'm, I had to move in. So I, I we were separated for a year yeah. first. And then, like, I remember I had to move in with my homie, uh, mm. Saul. Saul Parada, that's my guy, bro. Yeah. I, moved, I, I explained to him what was going on. He was like, oh, man, that's terrible. Like, he was like hey, bro, like, I, there, I'll talk to the guy that I'm living with. There's an extra room. Like, blah, blah, yeah. blah. They let me move in with them. I remember being in that room, depressed. <laughs> Yo, because that's like you let you lost everything. Almost. I felt like I lost everything. Yeah. So I remember before come back check just a, just a, just a second before that I recorded some songs for like a uh, I, w- I was doing like a compilation of of cover, okay. cover okay. songs okay and I was calling it Eric's playlist okay that was the thing that's, that's that was the beginning that was before the, the pandemic I recorded it before the pandemic. So I remember uh, I recorded a couple of songs with, with Kyla, my, okay. my, my oldest daughter. She's okay. fifteen. She's, yeah, uh, yeah. She's she's so good, dude. Yeah. But um, so I remember I, she was ten. She was ten, and I remember recording those songs with her. And I remember sitting in my room. This is now divorce. I'm fast forward now. I'm divorced. I'm sitting in my room, and I'm just going through some songs that I've recorded. Just I haven't even released the Eric's playlist yet. Okay. So I'm just going through some songs, and that song, the song that comes on is I did uh, uh, um, um, this is my fight fight song. Uh, yeah. Sam, well, it's yes. by Rachel Platten, yes. but I mixed it with a uh uh uh, uh, uh what's her name? Uh, yeah. I know the song. Uh, 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 Yes. Uh, I can't even think of the chords. But anyways, so at the end of that song, at the end of all of that, I had Kyla saying, there are times when you need some. I'm talking oh, about, I'm listening. To, chill, bro, boy. what? I'm oh listening to it. I'm trying to cry right now. Ooh. I'm listening to it. Boo hooing. Like, Eric, you can't let her down. You got you to get it together. Okay, let me get it together because I'm about to cry now. It's fine. But I said, you got to get it together because she is dependent on you. Yeah, man. She, you know she wants to do music. If you don't get up and do what you're supposed to do, that dream gonna die here. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Give, give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo. But um, so I remember, I remember, uh, I had a the old MacBook that I bought from Greg Cox. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 but it worked. Yeah. I got uh, I got mm. a little a little rinky dink version of Logic. Yeah. On there, so I remember. I just I'm going to work. Um, um. Figuring out this mix and watching YouTube clips, yeah. figuring it out. Okay, going recording, recording myself, recording. I had a rinky dink. I ain't, I had a a baby. I think a beta uh fifty seven, bro. It won't even. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even care. Like, yeah. bro, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah, Let, they got people gotta know you serious. So I remember I was going. So in the midst of that, I was going live every night. 
okay. on, on Instagram. Okay. Just doing, seeing what people like. Okay, cool. They like these songs. So those are the songs I was choosing to put on Eric's Playlist Part 1. Okay. So I, I released Eric's Playlist Part 1. Um, and then that became like a thing. Like I, The Part 1 came right before I uploaded it to DistroKid. Okay. Because it was supposed to be Eric's Playlist. Okay. But then I was like, I was listening to a bunch of songs, like a playlist on on Spotify mm-hmm. of a bunch of songs that I love. Like, Eric, you can't start, you can't stop here though. Yeah. Oh, call it part one. Yeah. So you can release an oh, and then Nick, you could do ten <laughs> renditions of it. Yeah. So I so I remember releasing it, Eric's playlist part one, and that became wow. what it is now. Eric, Eric, well, I have uh, AP three, which I you know shorten it. Yeah. Up, which is out now, but uh, I've done three of them. That's I'm, dope. I'm gonna drop a fourth one um, That's at dope. the end of May. That's dope. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So okay. let's fast forward. Okay. No, I don't want to fast forward. What's going during the pandemic? Yes. What are you doing? Okay. Cool. So during the pandemic, um, the last gig me and my brother had lined up that we had to do, um, and this is when Javen, Nemo, and Howard are gone. But we already got it locked in. We got to put a band together to do it. Yeah, I hit up my boy AJ. Okay, uh, 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 you uh, you know AJ Day. Yeah, drums. I hit him up. He was like, mm, "Yeah, I'm down." Like, yeah. bro. He said, like, "Actually, he's I'm gonna hit my boy up, VJ. I've only uh, met VJ a couple times in yeah. passing too. So he's like, I'm gonna hit my boy up, VJ. And see if he down do it. Okay, bet. Yeah. We do the gig. It's like, bro, I think, <laughs> I think we got something. Y'all. Yeah. So pandemic. So the pandemic hit. And it's like, ah, so we got to slow everything down. Mm-hmm. We, I'm talking about, you know, it was so many weddings that got canceled that year. So much money that was supposed to be made that year, bro. I yeah. know every, mu- I'm speaking to every musician right now. <laughs> Everybody was sick. Yeah. For at least the first six months. Like, <laughs> bro, what? Like nothing. Yo, I mean, I remember seeing the emails come in. The emails coming in. Sorry, I'm so sorry we're going to have to cancel. Yeah. So sorry. I remember I just, t- I had to turn my phone off. Like, bro, I can't even read no more. <laughs> If they cancel another gig, bro, what is happening? But so in my mind, I'm just going live, releasing Eric's playlist, going live, going live. Like people are like, hey man, y'all sh- you should do something. You should do something. Like being just on live just wasn't enough. It was okay. it was it was giving me my fix for a little bit, but it yeah. wasn't enough. Yeah. So there's this bar downtown Raleigh. Okay. Uh they were just crazy enough. Shout out to uh John and Trey, those are guys. John owns it. Trey, they're they're co-owners. Yeah. But at the time, Trey was uh, the GM. Okay. But you know, they opened up early, bro. They they didn't care. That and I'm gonna say that I'm gonna say this on I'm <laughs> gonna say this reason. on the podcast, bro. Downtown is full of a lot of racist owners. Okay. I'm gonna just gotta you got everybody know it ain't no secret. Okay. Everybody that everybody that is black or brown knows there's yeah. a lot of racist owners downtown. Yeah. John is not a racist. He's just a crook. Uh, and we go alright he don't care I'm black he just he gonna try to jib, jib me on the money alright cool 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 cool. I can deal with that yeah I don't even at this point I don't care nothing about this money yeah we just wanna get out and play yeah so my homie who was who was like helping book the music at the time hit me up like hey man like on Sundays at such such time they you know you can come and play like I'm like bro tell me when and yeah. where how much I'll play for that little $200 I do not care bro yeah. so I, bro I remember the first Sunday I came and did it by myself and they was like hey man I really like your vibe bro you try- like, bro, I do this every I'll do this every Sunday <laughs> if y'all let me come in here cause it usually it was like 10-15 people in there cause yeah. at that time capacity was a thing you couldn't yeah. have everybody in there with their mask it was a thing like yeah. so Bro, if you let me come in every week, I'll do this every yeah. week. You ain't even gotta you ain't even gotta wonder if I'm coming. <laughs> I'm gonna be here. Yeah. You ain't gotta call me, remind me nothing. I'm here. Yeah. So I remember I started, I, I, I came a couple times by myself. I hit my brother up. Josh, I know you miserable. Oh, we bringing the duo back. I know you miserable. I'm playing Sundays at Little City. You need to pull up and play with me. He's like, hey bro, say less. <laughs> So me and him doing it a couple of times. Ah. The crowd is growing because there's remember there's nothing else going on <laughs> downtown. When you walk down, when you walk downtown, it's a ghost town. Yeah, like there's no you can see weeds flying by, <laughs> napkins. <laughs> like bro, what is what happened down here? It's like a zombie apocalypse. Bro. Yeah, bro. So I'm Josh came. 
the the numbers are growing. It's getting crazy. The and the GM, the owner, looking up like, hey man, just, <laughs> yeah, bring that money in. <laughs> so I remember like, dang, we need something else, bro, because I want to do more. I'm, yeah, so I hit up AJ. Like AJ, you come in, bro. You don't need much. Just bring your kick drum and your drum pad, bro. Ah, That's all yeah. we need, bro. That's all we need. So he was like, all right, bet. Show up. We do that. Bro, and I tell you, it's going. Now it's going crazy because a lot of things we could do on the fly yeah. versus me using my looper pedal yeah. and doing the whole thing. Now we could do a bunch of things on the fly. Yeah. And then it was like, AJ was like, hey, man, we might as well just bring VJ in too, bro. Why not? I'm like, man, tell him to pull up, bro. Like, let's let's get it. So we're doing that, bro. And it became a thing. Sunday fun days at Little City. Wow. Became a legit thing yeah audience is full of everybody all walks of life it yeah. was and i i think we got old videos of how pat needs to be to the point where john and trey didn't care about <laughs> hold on get him in trouble <laughs> they didn't care about the capacity <laughs> he did not care as long as everybody keep their mask on and they stay in their seats that was his thing keep I your mask care. on stay in your seat and where it's located downtown the cops don't even pass by here oh uh, so it's like bro it's, it's, it's nobody would have ever seen it bro but it, the, the words started to get too out because, you know, social media. The words started to get too out. Don't post good. it, y'all. We was like, hey, man, hey, hey, y'all. Let's not, not, not post it. Let's not post it. Let's not post it, guys. It's, it's a little crazy here. Please don't post. <laughs> like, oh. And then, like, you know, but it was it was getting out. So it became crazy to what we could, you know. Yeah. So Sunday Funny, that little city became a thing. Uh, then we started, like, you know, bouncing around at bars downtown. Yeah. At this time, they Stuff did, opening back they, up. They racist, but they they were like, no, I need some money, bro. <laughs> hey man, call those black guys that's over there at Little City, man. Tell them to come in and bring a crowd. But it became a thing like where Nito goes, the crowd the people, was, they yeah, were follow, coming. Yeah. In that t- in that town, Raleigh, downtown, if you know, and and it was a couple times. Okay. I'm on I'm on the right track though. Yeah. So we started doing, I wanted to do an open mic. Okay. Because it was a lot of singers. I was getting, like, you know, a lot of DMs from singers. Like, hey, man, oh, damn, I want to get back out there and sing, too. Like, yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start an open mic. Yeah, you I'm going to start an open mic. And not just, and it's not one of those open mics that's just for good singers. Like, no, I want, yeah. I want come everybody out yeah. come out. I don't care if you can sing or not. And I remember the first couple of months on the mic. And we ain't doing that booing here. Yeah. If you don't like them, I don't care. <laughs> we got security. We can go and carry you on out. But we not doing that booing here. If yeah. we don't, if we here for a vibe. Everybody been miserable all week because <laughs> you ain't been able to do nothing. This is the time to drink yeah. and, and, and share and create new relationships. So that's why we here. Yeah. So that became a thing, and then Josh started coming. So it became a needle open mic. Oh, this was at Clockwork. If you know anything about Clockwork downtown Raleigh, it's super small. Yeah, I'm talking about bro. There used to be a line all the way lined up. Outside, people trying to get in. Hey, man, Eric, get me in, bro. Get me in. I'm like, boy, I can't. We get in trouble, bro. I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> bro, it became a thing to where, to the point where we we literally outgrew it. Yeah. We had to move suddenly. <laughs> I'm going to say it like that. Yeah. Because people that on the inside know why we had to move, but I'm, I ain't even. Yeah. I, I rock with Kelly and I rock with Connor. I rock yeah. with uh, uh, Suel, that's there, the owner. Yeah. That's fine. But. We really what happened is we outgrew it. Yeah, it was too many people coming. Yeah, so we had to move it. Um, so we hit up John Trey, man. Can we do Wednesday? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Can you do Wednesday? Yes, come on over. Cause we had to make decision the night before. Oh wow. Okay. So we hit up Trey quick. He like, oh yeah, oh yeah, bring him, <laughs> bring him on over, man. So we moved and everybody followed. That's great. So, Nito Open Mics became the thing that it is today. <laughs> That's crazy, it's, bro. Bro. And, and like, and you, and the only way for that to work is you got to have people on your team that's crazy enough <laughs> to do it. Because, like, we're literally putting our lives on the line. Listen, you, you're taking a lot of risks. Uh, you done lost uh, your marriage over this. <laughs> <laughs> it better work. That's what I'm, that's in my mind. It's like, bro, I can't, I can't not do this. I done given so much. Fud is like this is nobody in my mind is like nobody else is working right now, Eric. This is the perfect yeah. opportunity. Yeah, yeah, y'all maximize an opportunity Whoa, for sure. What? Go on. Okay, go and get it now. Go and maximize. At least have this would be your hub. Raleigh would be your hub. Like I was telling my brother, like Jock, anytime a major artist come to the to to the city, they need to be like, 
Oh yeah, that's where the uh, crew need uh-huh. at. That that that's how crazy this movement needs to be. Yeah. So we bro, it became what it is. The open mic became what it is today, and the Nito shows became what they are today. Yo, bro, that's crazy. Oh man. So shout out to my boy AJ. Shout out yeah. to DJ. Shout out to uh, uh, my brother Josh. Because they came through when you thought it was over, bro. I it, it's and this thought is so light, bro. I in my mind, I knew it was over. Mm. It's like. In my mind, there's dang, that's it. Yeah, dang, dang, that's it. Yeah, this is really it. Yeah, dang. Until like, hey man, what you doing on Sundays at sunset? I just be getting out of church, but what you what you got going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> I will be there. Yeah, and it became what it is today. Bro. Yeah. So where are the open mics at now? Now they're at the Architect Little City is remodeling. They're turning into an Italian restaurant. Okay. We may or may not go back there. The vibes here at the Architect have been immaculate. <laughs> okay. 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 It's, a, it's just the sound quality is way better. Yeah. Little City, it felt like he was playing in a hallway. It was it was frustrating. Yeah. But shout out to John, Jonathan Randall, who does sound. Yeah. He's yeah. a whiz, bro. Yeah. He, just, he, he would make it sound. It would be, bro. Yeah. John is just John. Everybody knows yeah. John. Yeah. But- the architect is definitely a better vibe. Yeah. Uh, it's just them stairs getting yeah. into it. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something, though. I don't know if this is something you would want to do because I don't know what it takes to get into it. Mm-hmm. But um, Club Nito would be crazy. So, bro, we are. That's crazy. That might be God for real. I'm a, I got I to gotta keep it a band because. We were so it's this guy came this random dude came from out of town. He came from like somewhere crazy, like Connecticut or something, Canada. Uh-huh. He was from somewhere. Uh-huh. He was in town for a business or something. And he was like, "Hey man," he came to the open mic. <laughs> he was like, "Bro," he he talked to me. We take our we would take our break and let DJ uh, double shout out to DJ, DJ Double Nice. Yeah, uh, we'll let him spin while we take our break. And like during the break, he dapped me up. He's like, "Bro, what is this? Is this Club Nito or something?" <laughs> I remember looking at him going, hmm, that's got a little ring to it, bro. I was like, nah, this is an open mic. You know, we we're we're a band in the city. We do we we put our ten thousand hours in the city. Yeah. So you know, yeah, people gravitate to yeah. where we are. But like, that was this is the second time I've heard it. Because listen, if y'all gonna do that, y'all might as well make all the money. Oh, facts. The bar money. The bar money. The food money. <laughs> <laughs> it's another thing. Facts. Well, we so we used to do a uh, food truck. We'll get some friends that's got food trucks. Yeah, and had them come out to Little City because yeah. Little City didn't have a kitchen. Uh huh. So we would just have. But now, that's fire too. But now, with influence like that, man, starting a business yeah. in a city that you have proven support. Yes, is it's almost obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's just it's a lot of. I know. Politics I know. I don't of, know that part of it. So. I'm going to state this one more time. <laughs> There's a lot of racist owners yeah. with a lot of power. Yeah. So I, I understand Downtown. that clearly. So we got up. But the thing is, our support, our consistent support system, the reason why we've been able to be so successful is because downtown there are some lawyers and and, um, and and realtors that support us heavy. Yeah. Like they come and when they spend money, so if you have, they so hold spend on. money. If you have lawyers and realtors... That have a relationship with y'all. That's what I'm it's saying. Very possible. Now it's it, possible. Now it is very possible. <laughs> we just might have to be on the outer skirts of downtown. <laughs> Cause I ain't I ain't about to deal. I mean, I got yeah. some we we all got goons that that rock with us. Right? Yeah. But we ain't trying to bring that into the you know, you ain't trying to bring that into the picture. Cause you know them what I've seen, I've literally seen this, bro. These owners get they they all oh, hire really? people to come in and do some wild yeah like it's it's been there's been like and I ain't even supposed to be talking about this for real for real but it is what it is like I ain't got to state no names but like there's there hire people that come into certain bars start fights just so no it's a, just so that'll be a part of your reputation exactly bro it's it's evil down there bro it's evil down there. And I ain't even, I'm, at my big age, I don't even, I don't even <laughs> can't even get it on there with y'all, bro. Yeah. Like, like, uh, like uh, what's his name? Not Lil Baby. What's his name? Uh, uh, 21 Savage said. Oh. Like, you know, I mean, I don't say a lot, but I, I slap all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> sitting in, I can see myself sitting in the owner of the meeting like, hey, man, I, I don't say it all the time, but 
<laughs> you, 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 I slap all y'all real quick. I'm just saying. But, you know, I yeah. just, I ain't even trying to put myself in that yeah. kind of predicament. Yeah. So, you know, we just, if we do, which is something that we sh- we really need to do. Yeah. For real. Yeah. yeah because for the y'all sake have, of the culture. Yeah. yeah y'all, y'all have gotten into a place. When I hear you talk, y'all have built up what it takes to do that. And the crazy thing yeah. is most entrepreneurs, um, they do it backwards. Yeah. They try to start a business and then get people yeah, to come. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I can If think about it. If they go wherever y'all say go, <laughs> that's right. And y'all be that like, sound crazy and y'all be saying like, out loud, but yeah. Y'all be like, okay, y'all. No, because six months and a year it's gonna be Club Nito. Do you know what's gonna happen? No. Do you know so, people uh, gonna be so proud of we've that? We've been at the architect for like a month now, I think. Like a month, about a month. So like the f- the first two nights, the first night after the first night, Trey pulled me into his office. He was like, he said, "Man, this has got to be the craziest movement I think I've ever seen yeah, since." Yeah, like, bro, I've I've never seen anything like it. Like, he said, other than like you know mainstream artists, I've never seen this because we literally announced the week of we're moving to architect. Do you understand? Okay, so let's talk. Let's talk, let's talk business, man. Let's yeah. help. We're going to help the people. Do you understand? Yeah. If you have your own place. Yeah. You can make it sound like you want it to sound. You can make it yes. look. So then anytime y'all ready to record anything live, bro. It's plug and play. Bro. You're like, "Hey y'all, we're doing a session tonight at Club Nido. <sighs> come through. Bro, you got me high right now. Okay. Come on, man. I know we got it. We do have a little do it. have a little section in there where they could just walk in and buy merch. Yeah. It's come on, man. It's a gold mine. Mm. It's, the, it's the hub. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta give you a little percentage because that's great. <laughs> Listen to me, man. That's great, but no, there are, bro, and that's why I brought up the the, the lawyers and the, the realtors yes. and the people that's really making money and spending money. They tell us all the time. Like shout out to my homie Josiah, who's a lawyer downtown. Yeah, he's always like. Hey man, y'all need to go ahead and do this. Do yeah. your own thing, man. We'll support it, bro. Yes. He always hey, we'll support it. You know me and my people. Yeah. We'll support it. So like we just being slow. Because at the time when that conversation first happened, Nito had just dropped our album. Yeah. Just dropped the album and then we did the tour. Yeah. So like, you know, we, that was our focus at the time. Yeah. We didn't want to be tied down and yeah. we don't trust nobody that ain't in the crew yeah. <laughs> to run it right yeah. now. Yeah. So because I'm big on uh, when it comes to our open mics, I'm big on the people, bro. Yeah. And everybody. And it's always like, that's crazy. Hey, yo, this might be crazy when I sell out. But it's almost like a pastor of a church. Absolutely. It, it really is. Because I'm most focused on how they are feeling. Absolutely. How they are interpreting what we're doing down to, down to like how well we play every Absolutely. song. Absolutely. Like, how well we are making sure the person that's up singing is being catered to. Absolutely. And it's like they they up while they're up, they're feeling like, oh yeah, yes. no, they care. They care that I said, yeah, no, no, I got you. Yes. I got and, and I don't when I call them up, I don't leave and go sit there. No, I stay right there with them. Yes. Play them. If they need help with the lyrics, I seen the lyrics that they don't yeah. know. And they're like, no, you got it, you got See, it. Man. I'm I it, we just we we've done, we've been blessed and bro, we're so blessed to be able to like really empower people man absolutely it's now imagine crazy. like like okay let's use the pastor reference okay that's you've been in church <laughs> yeah a long time <laughs> you know the difference between a pastor who's hired and a pastor who starts a church oh man oh yes and right now you're the pastor that's hired <laughs> 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 you the pastor who the deacon tell you what right, to do. Right, 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 right. <laughs> uh, we got we got a little we got a little power. But, but when it comes down to that five decision, man. Exactly. We really ain't got no power. <laughs> yeah. But you bringing in the people. Facts. So yeah, y'all y'all gotta if this is the second time you heard it, y'all gotta talk about it. We cause that that we've and, talked and about it. From, Cause like at your big age, yeah. creating a situation where even on days where you don't have to be the focal point, there's still income. Yes. And you can employ people. Yeah. And you have a platform to put other people on. And the thing is, it accomplishes the mission on another <sighs> level. Bro, that's so crazy. <laughs> the grand scheme of things, we've built relationships with all kind of like bartenders, bro, the whole GMs, you, you, and 
everybody and like it's just it's just me like kind of looking back on like uh any any bartender that has come into like we've we've come in contact with bartenders that we didn't know that've come to open mic like man how can we get in there and bartend like we trying to like See? man I'm trying to get in there and bartend like bro so we've got people that willingly want would want to work so y'all, for us. Y'all, y'all and go then we the got table. Saul Saul Parada, I mentioned him before. Yeah. Um, he he used to be the GM at Watson Ward. Mm-hmm. Um, he's now freelance. He's doing his own thing with like Saul Good Management. He's a Saul is that guy. Saul. Anybody that anybody that has been around downtown long enough, downtown Raleigh, you know Saul. Saul is the bro. Saul is the he's the bridge between musicians and the owners. Wow. Okay. Saul could. Phrase it how it need to be phrased to the owners to get them to fold and give you exactly what you need. Yeah. Saul is that guy, bro. Saul has been that guy for quite yeah. some time. But now he's freelance doing the Saul Good Management. That's still my guy. But he's really skilled at training bartenders. So, like, we, I mean, you you just, yeah. This yeah, is y'all, you, y'all got to go. Yeah, we're going to have to have a real Y'all going to have to have a meeting. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you so, so if you watch if you watching this and you want to you know uh, chip in uh, monetarily, <laughs> donate into the club donate Nito into fund. the club Nito fund. <laughs> nah, that's real. No, nah. it, it like it's already proven. That's the yeah. thing. It's not even a thing where you would have to wonder if it'll work. Exactly. It it, it <laughs> you have that's all crazy. the pieces we to do. just do it. Yep, I got the we and we got the team crazy enough. And skilled enough to do it too, bro. And then the brand outlives the band yeah. at that point. Facts. <laughs> it's a legitimate business, <laughs> that dog. It is. Facts. Yo, and that's what every like all musicians worry about their exit plan. Exactly. This is an exit plan. A it's a and it's an exit plan in a wheelhouse that you've been trained in. Exactly. Since the beginning with the duo, y'all in the bar. So you know the world. We know how. We know how to operate in there to get exactly what we need. Roger is the way you say it. I'm definitely an advocate for children not starting out dating too early mm. because you have no idea what you're doing. I definitely, I dated young. I remember specifically my first real boyfriend, I was 12. Love I would it. go to different states, different cities, different area codes. In other words, she had the sauce <laughs> and the juice. The whole bowl was hers. When I turned 16, I, I went to my mom and I said, Mom, I think I want to start kissing. <laughs> Didn't know nothing, but I remember having that conversation with her, like, I'm ready to kiss. <laughs> it's her face. But it's it was the open it was an open door policy. Mm-hmm. I had that open door to be able to talk to her. Yeah, date. Right. Nobody said go out here and have sex with and bang everything you see. But what I'm saying is it is healthy to date. Right. See, my experience was kind of single home-ish. So I didn't really have like a vision of what I wanted and what I didn't want as far as a man is concerned. If you enjoyed this clip of Be For Real, you can watch the full video. Just head over to RXS Entertainment YouTube channel. You can also listen on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Just type in B-E-F-U-H-R-E-A-L period. And that's another thing I want to talk about, too. Like, sometimes artists and creatives, writers, we have aspirations to do one thing. Right. And then life takes us down another path. Yes. So, even though y'all wanted to do the whole world tour type vibes, your brother says, hey. Hey. This this, this this is the money. Hey. So, now it's like, it's almost like the obvious play. Yes. To have y'all own bar is the obvious that play. That is the obvious <laughs> play for sure. No, it, and the, how well it could work too, bro. <laughs> bro, it really could though because th- that's what Josh does. Like, Josh is the corporate world. Yes. Josh can run there with his eyes closed. Yes. So so y'all pray. Shoot. Y'all pray out there. Look, look, look. Open Club <laughs> Nito. Because that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that'd be a vibe for sure. Yo! Yeah. Y'all can control everything. Facts. 
ain't no fights. Ain't no. F- oh yeah. The nah. aesthetics. Is, oh, y'all, like y'all can make sure the acoustics are right. Y'all can have the speakers Ooh, you want. You yep. never have to set up and take down. <laughs> you just walk in. It's like this hour. Yeah. Okay, no, that would be you. fire. And then you can and then you can have like show shows there. Like yes, like Dubia come in and do a show. Yes, because you in control. You can. Oh, it gets crazy. <laughs> and then wild. and then cr- the crazy thing is you get the opportunity to like bridge the gap. Yep. With other people who yes. wouldn't go to any other bar. Exactly. It's like, yeah, man. It's exactly. Like, yeah, it's hard. That's exactly that. That's exactly one of our biggest goals. Though. Yes, because Doobie would come through, and boy, it would be packed. Bro, what? Oh my gosh! Bro. Now imagine this. Okay, y'all got the gear to record. You hand Doobie a record right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doobie be like, y'all can get a piece of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Live at Club Nito, oh, Doobie yeah. Powell. That would be crazy. Y'all got videographers in in house. Yeah, facts. Oh. <laughs> What are we doing? What are we doing? Please, Club Nito, please. But I think you know everything. Everything has its time. Though. Yeah, I think we needed to experience everything we've experienced absolutely to get to this point. Though. Yes, for sure. Yeah. So let's talk about now, like, okay? Because we didn't mention it, but Nito isn't what the name was at first. No, nah, it was Incognito. Yes. So tell me about the transition of the name. Okay. Every, tell me about everything. Okay. Cool. Cool. So we were we just wanted to come up with a different name. The our our reason for coming up with incognito is we want it to be felt not really so much seen and heard okay so we we just wanted to you know oh yeah oh, this music being played oh, okay cool that yeah that sound good like we didn't really care about the focal point yeah but then incognito became bigger than what we thought it was gonna be yeah so we tried to we ran into like you know some uh, potential legal issues with, because there's another uh, band with that name. Yes, so yes. we had to change the. We thought we, maybe we just change the spelling of the name. We could get by. So we tried like it was like N N apostrophe K O G N I I T O. Like we was, we was doing, and then like over the mic after you finished the set, you trying to say all that. People done lost interest after the after the apostrophe apostrophe. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to find them on, on accident. Because I'm not I'm not I'm about to ask him to repeat that. So I I was like, you know what? We should just I like the way the the second part of Incognito look. Nito. N I I T O. Like, hmm, we ain't we ain't gotta have no real meaning to it right now. Like no. somebody asked us, well, it, it's it's the second half of Incognito. Yeah. Boom. That's fine. So it was like, oh yeah. So we slowly started like we would like post it and just have Nito or the have Incog grayed out and Nito like we yeah, was trying to find, just slowly yeah. so it didn't seem like a complete shock to yeah, people yeah. that were already following us and, and supporting us at that time so yeah that's what Nito yeah now tell me about the <clears throat> rebrand and the look and everything because you were just mentioning that to me earlier uh, and who's behind all of that ah so that didn't even so that didn't remo- no, so much Nito that's that's Eric Duncan because okay. you know I do my solo stuff as well so you still okay yeah, yeah, yeah. so with the success of Nito, yes. Why would you still want to do your own thing? Okay, because. Okay, 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 okay. So, releasing uh, the Ardency of a Paper Town—that's Nito's album. I there's a. It was to me. Okay, let me. And I hope this is not offensive. To me, it was like unnecessary back and forth about what a song you know should be about or blah blah blah. It, it, because right. uh, because there's the there's the, if there if it's a group Everybody you have the input. opinions of all of the members exactly and they don't rightfully always so. line up exactly rightfully so like rightfully so is something that oh you know cool yeah. but then it was like uh, all right cool I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just release a solo joint yes with you know the song and talk about yes exactly what I want to yes. about. so. That was listen. You know, I'm gonna tell. Listen, there's yeah. so many ideas in my head right now. Okay. Okay. Now think about this. Okay. With with the Nito brand, right? Yes. Think about how many artists oh, yeah. that y'all can produce and yes. facilitate things for, and you have a bunch of Eric Bro, Duncan's, that not just you. Is that was the original plan of Incognito? Jeez. 
if my, I wish my brother could have came to this, he would have said, he would have set up like, oh, Eric. Like, I, when I told him, it's like, we need to become, we could be our own band and other people's band. Yes. There was this thing at we used to do on Thursday nights at the vault in Durham. Yes. Shout out to Moses. He he owns that spot. Where we would, we would do our set, and then on certain nights, we would bring in another artist, and we would be their band. Yes. Bro. Club Nito. Bro. This and, artist is featured, and Nito is playing. Yo. Jeez. It's and, the old. Here, it's here. all right there, <laughs> and, and and the the musicianship of the guys in the band yes. is so high. Like it's and it's like they can do they can literally do any style. Like and that's that's one of the things that I love to talk about with this band because artists like it'll be like you know a a, a white guy he'll come like mm, yeah can y'all play such stuff uh-huh. and i'll be looking at him like bro you have no idea <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i'll be like oh yeah no we got you man he come up uh he sang um i can't even think of the name of the song it was a, a maroon five song okay oh uh, and, and and we started it <laughs> he was looking like and even the line, dun, 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 yeah. dun, 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 like he was like, bro, he was like, he was, oh, yeah. he was lit. like, we've that we've we're bro so versatile, man. I Listen, you have okay, the you have the physical building. Yes, you have the band. Mm-hmm. You can have the record label. Yeah. Come on, bro. I know. <laughs> bro, God is bro good, it is an empire. It is. It really is. It really is. It's an empire, it man. It really is. Because think about it. You sign an artist. Yes. You have a built-in crowd. Yep. So when they debut, they have eyes. It, it, Built it, in the system. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. <laughs> it's guaranteed. <laughs> bro, if y'all yeah. don't do this, <laughs> y'all can't see <laughs> Uh, bro nah. it's built in nah. and it, and then it's multiple streams of income yes the thing that all creators try to figure out how to do yeah like how do we create multiple streams of income off of our gift yep. and how do we create a brand or a business that one will outlive us yes. and two can generate income without me having to always be present <sighs> the fact that you have that yeah that's what we all want. That's, That's what we're all striving for. God is good. <laughs> God is good. Like, so, and you've built the influence like over years. Yeah. We like put, y'all put, put in the work. Out. We put them, bro. We put them. And so there's this new kid that's been playing with us named Jojo. He plays bass. Okay. You know my you know uh, Josh Farrar? That name sounds familiar. His son. Okay. He's I can't tell his age because uh, cause he in the Okay. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> But like, <laughs> like uh, uh, I don't know why I was bringing up JoJo. What did you say right before I said that? I was saying just like creating a space for people and different stuff. And then I said the label is built in. If y'all don't do it, y'all can't see. And you just brought him up. Dang, I had a way. I had somewhere I was going. But he's been playing with y'all. Let's talk about him anyway. And oh no, nah. JoJo me. plays. Ba- he, he's he plays drums. Okay, he's he's him and his best friend Chris Darden. You know Darden. You know Chris. That's my boy, that's my dog. Them two together, bro. Insane, bro. <laughs> but jo- JoJo is known for drums, but he plays bass uh-huh. as well. So he's been he's been tagging along with us uh-huh. on bass, uh-huh. like kind of getting into the scene. He's oh, it was something. He, that's what it was. It was something he said that I wanted to bring up. Okay. Dang. Was it about the band? Was it about business? What is it about like his aspirations? What? Mm. I hope it comes to you. It'll come back. It'll come back to me. But no, legacy is everything. Like yes. all of this, it, and it's it's kind of me paving the way for real, for real for my daughter. Listen, I want. It's like listen, listen for real, for real. <sighs> Y'all, this is one of the best parts. <laughs> it's like that's crazy. You're creating a machine so she doesn't have to start at the bottom. So she don't have to worry about no weirdos dealing with her. Bro, bro you know how it go, bro. Absolutely. And I So she can have a safe place she to gonna play. Come in, she gonna come in. If she do gotta work with someone who's being weird to her and like she'll have the dude that's being weird to have a dude, hey man, you better chill out. That's Eric Duncan's daughter. That's who daughter? <laughs> exactly. That's Eric Duncan's daughter. Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> like I I yes. that is my and it's not 
yeah. geared toward me, like trying to be famous. I don't really care about that. No. But I just, my daughter, I want to make sure she ain't got nothing to worry about. That's so good, bro. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's why I brought up JoJo, too. Yeah. Like, JoJo was like, the next phase like, yes absolutely training him, like, absolutely oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's going it's going to continue listen man like yeah when you have influence and you're using it correctly things are going to Shh. always continue to grow exponentially mm. Mm -mm -mm. that's so heavy. Like, yeah yeah that's that's it's, heavy. it's real life that's heavy though like you doing right by your influence you're going Shh. to stay blessed bro you're going to stay blessed like for instance mm. okay let me tell y'all my son mm -hmm. when people come in he don't talk to them. Oh, yeah. My son is one. He don't oh, yeah. he, he look at you funny and everything. And you said, I said, you must have a good spirit. That's what I said. Because right, right. y'all, he's talking to Eric. He like <laughs> laughing, screaming. And then Eric said, I try to stay clean. I try my best. Now, man. but like, understand that on a deeper level. Okay. Like, you're going to be blessed because you try to create an environment for people that is clean. Like I try to stay clean. Yeah. I try to give clean. I try yes. to be pure. I, yes. I'm here to serve. Yes. I'm here to create opportunities for other artists. I yes. want to build a platform for my daughter. Like, yes. bro, that is, as a black man it, in yeah. America, <laughs> that is beautiful, buddy. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's just, and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give props to my mom and my dad. Yeah. And then, um, uh, the pat with Bishop Bishop Terrence Jenkins. Yeah, those people really help you. Like people like that keep you humble, but keep you understanding your influence. Absolutely, if you understand your influence. You'll you'll move differently. Yes, you, yes, you will move differently. Yes, but if you don't understand it and you just hype off of it, yeah, you mishandle. You're going to mishandle it every time. Yes, every time, every single time. So I just because of them, I I just. I'm able to, you know, greet, talk to people in a, yeah. you know, growing up in church, you know, talking to people, that's nothing. Like, especially the yeah. mothers, the mothers of the church, like, hey, yeah. what's going on, mama? You doing all right today? Like, that's <laughs> literally how I talk to people in open yeah, mind. Like, yeah. It, when I, when I, when I see people in passing or whatnot, and I try not to, you, you know, come off yeah. as a man, they, especially women, they already looking for you to come off yes. a certain way. So I try to, I try my best to come off like, to the point, they don't like, they be like, is he gay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, gay. He Cause he, I, I threw the same. Especially I if they, threw the es especially if they attracted to you off the real. Exactly. And then you just act like I'm. I, I'm they, he must be. I, I was gay. Doing, what's going on? Like, I appreciate y'all coming out, man. <laughs> Dang, this was lit, bro. So what y'all will bring y'all? Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, well, happy birthday. We got you with that birthday song in a little bit, and I get out of there. Like we, 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 we deal with. The, all the guys, yeah. I some mean, of, that's that's a part of that's yeah, a part of the game. Exactly. That's a some, part. Of some the game. of us enjoy it more than others. But <laughs> I don't. It's just the way, it, like you know, the whole like being groped and all that stuff. Like, yeah. You know, when you get when you get drunk, women all in the in the building, yeah. and you get real, it get real wild. You know? <laughs> yeah. So I just you know I got a couple of phrases I say like, hey man, hey, like, come on, auntie, why you gotta? <laughs> chill, so auntie, auntie me, chill, auntie, chill. <laughs> or uh, like if it's like if I'm corner, I'm like girl. I say, girl, stop when you get me pregnant. <laughs> She'll laugh, and I just I get oh, out of the Oh, you get quick. it. Oh, you move during it's, the laugh, bro. You, you got, got it down it. to a science, you, dog. Bro, what, bro? You got to. You got to have it. But if I just try not to be caught off guard. If you yeah. get caught off guard, you can you easily get into some sticky situations. Yeah. But I try to. So I, that's why. And it's like people that work with me, they they be like, Eric, like uh, such such walk past you like three times, you ain't speak to him. Like, oh, they ain't even see him. But I'm tunnel vision real bad Any, yeah. anybody that know me I'm tunnel vision I'm talking about crazy because my mind is like okay you gotta be prepared you gotta be prepared for this you gotta be prepared just in case somebody walk up, you yeah. gotta say to make sure okay oh no you see her to the, to the right okay she like she might be interested so make sure you have a, like I'm like, that's what's going on in my brain yeah. okay the sound's kind of wild right now let me make sure you talk to John but make sure we talk to John I'm talking kind of crazy like like <laughs> it's so much going on in my head like I don't know why I'm now on my on my pedal board is doing it let me like and it's Bro, if if you were to put a microphone in my head when I'm in big setting, because I'm an introvert, like I'm, yeah. I'm a I'm a introverted. I could be extroverted at some time, yeah, when I need to be. But like I'm like, bro, at the at the at the open mic or big setting, I'm in. Oh, you, uh, you, 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 oh god, <laughs> oh god, we made it, we did it again, guys. I'm gonna go. Eric, you coming out? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna see y'all over there. <laughs> BJ text me this morning, bro. You. <laughs> Bro, why you had to do us like that, bro? You could have just said you won't come. 
<laughs> yeah. But no, like I just just try to be like stay ahead of it. So I'm Absolutely. not caught off guard. That's Absolutely. All. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So now I'm gonna get back to the Eric Duncan brand. Ooh. Let's go. All right. So obviously you just stated that there is a difference. Yes. Because of the subject matter. Yeah. So take me through where you are, your team for your brand, everything. Take oh, me through all so people will know what's up. Man, let me tell you something. I have been, I mean, and all of it kind of blurs together for real. Okay. You know, it blurs together for sure. Yeah. Um, but when I first started Eric Duncan, I was a little afraid of it blurring. I was very afraid Why? of it blurring. Because people will be expecting certain things when they come. And that's not where they're going to get it, Eric okay. Duncan show. Okay. You're not going to get Neato at, at you're, 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 you You're going to get it's some gonna, Neato. Some Neato, for sure. But it's definitely going to be like, I love hearing when they come to Eric Duncan show. Like, man, that was that was way different than the Nito show, but I love that. Like, yeah, it's more. It's a more intimate. Okay, you're okay. not gonna get the songs played. That it's not gonna be like a a crowd pleasing kind of night. Yeah, you know I mean? it's gonna be. You are gonna get a broken down like. Here is what's usually going on in Eric Duncan's life. Like, yeah, that that style, and it's like I usually try to make it like a a. a, a you remember Storytellers, the whole Storytellers um, series they used to be on, like HBO and whatnot, where they were bring the, artists, yes, artists and they in. would like talk and then yeah. play their songs, and people would be just sitting exactly. in front of them. Exactly. So yeah. that's where so far, that's where so far came from. That's where uh, uh, what's the other one? Tiny Desk. That's all that. Yeah. All that stemmed from Storytellers, bro. Yeah. That Storytellers makes sense. started all of that. Yeah. So, but that's that's the vibe you get. Okay. At my shows versus okay. like a Nito show is we party. Yeah. That's our, I'm talking about from first song. <laughs> They already know we dancing all <laughs> yeah. That's night, fire, bro. That's fire. But Eric Duckett show, you know, it's it's gonna be some vibes for sure. Yeah, cause I mean that's just just what we grew up on. So yeah, you're definitely getting the vibe. But it's just gonna be a lot more intimate. You're gonna be like, you might be in your field a little yeah. bit. Yeah, like, you can get some subject matter. And I just dropped um, a single called uh, "Why Kind of Love." I gotta change that. So my daughter, my youngest daughter, Madison. So the name of it is Why Kinda Love. Yeah. K-I-N-D-A yes. Love. Yes. And she was like, why you say Why Kinda Love? And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, 10-year-old, she don't understand. Let me break it down to her. <laughs> so I'm, I am called myself trying to explain to her, oh, you know, the love of God, you know, uh, when his love is is present in your life, sometimes you feel like you don't deserve it. And, and they're like, she was like, oh, okay, and I get that. But why you say Kinda? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Oh, actually, yeah, you're right. It's just because that's how we talk. Yeah, but what you say to her? I was like, I, I said exactly that. You're right. <laughs> I should probably change that to of because I don't want it to seem like kind of like like yeah kind kinda of love. Yeah. So I was like, hmm. But I think is maybe it's just her <laughs> or her generation that feel like that. Everybody else, especially you know the, ch the church family, they yeah, yeah. they understood it immediately. Yeah, so I ain't even had to go in it, but it was just that was just like another like yeah. But anyways, I dropped that, uh -huh. and that's that's my like thank you letter to God. Like, okay, which is like my since being uh, in the secular world. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my first time dropping anything uh, in in that realm. I got you, but it still feels like yes, Eric it's Duffy. still you, it's still me. Um, so. Moving forward, like my show is gonna be all that's gonna be wrapped in one. We're gonna talk yeah. about relationship stuff, we're gonna talk about sex, we're gonna talk about kissing, we're gonna talk about mm. yeah. and then amongst all these things, here's God. Yeah. <laughs> because we so, are whole humans. We are whole entire human beings. And like sometimes like there are very few artists mm -hmm. that express the entire human experience. Yes. And it's it, and I understand it though. I get why because once you drop and I was we were me and Adriana was having a conversation about it. She was like, "I feel like once you so do you feel like when you drop this song you're going to have to stay in that lane of Christian yeah. music, Christian music, Christian music?" Yeah. I was like, "Well, I mean, because it's me, I don't care." <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get it. It may be offensive to you know certain people, but yeah. I don't care. I, yeah. I've I'm I'm at a place in my life where I've gone through the hard stuff. Ain't yeah. nothing you can do. <laughs> you know say, yeah. At this point in my life, bro, that's it, it. Be a lot of things that be going on wild. That like, yeah. My daughters be looking at me like, why are you not panicking, girl? This is nothing. 
<laughs> Man, nah, this is this silly right here. Actually, matter of fact, we get ready to leave. Y'all ready? <laughs> yeah. So like, I just don't care. Mm-hmm. But I get why they kind of refrain from it because people will try to box you in. Yeah. And they will only support. It'll feel like yeah. you only got that following yeah. or that kind of attention when you do that kind of yes. stuff. So yes, I I just don't care. I'm gonna talk about the real the real human experience and like. People will gravitate to that. Yes. Like in the past. Yes. When you were an artist. Yeah. You had to be signed to a label. Yes. When you were signed to that label. Yeah. You had a team of people. Yep. Who would assess the demographic. Yeah. <laughs> and tell you what to talk about. Exactly. Because this is what those people exactly. want. Exactly. All of those walls have been, been torn down. Torn down. <laughs> and it's. 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 It's a it's a pros and cons to it <laughs> because you know you gotta you gotta finance all this stuff yourself. Yes, which is if you're watching this and you want to give to the cause, my God, be my guest. <laughs> yeah, we gonna put this. It's down not. There. It's all the artists to every artist out there that are releasing music that are doing shows. I commend you. Yeah, because it is tough, bro. Yeah. You get it. It's yes. real out here. Yes. And trying to navigate a real life, especially if you got kids, mm-hmm. a real life, make sure your kids are taken care of, making sure you're taken care Absolutely. of. Absolutely. Making sure you're able to to create the kind of music and the kind of art that you want. Yeah. So that you genuinely want to. Not like yeah. you're running to a wall, okay, well, we won't do that. We'll just do this. Like, no. Being able to solely and genuinely create the art that is nearest to your heart. Yes, sir. That is what's most important. So all the artists that are doing it, I commend you. Yeah. Bro, for real, for real. Cause Absolutely. It's not easy. Yeah, it's not, it's not easy like that. No. <laughs> it's not easy at all, but yeah. So now you've put out that single. Mm-hmm. Tell me a little bit about Adriana because you mentioned her. Okay, yes. Adriana is the brains behind... Cause people be like, "Hey man, your videos look so clean and so clean." Like, I'd be like, "Yeah." <laughs> so if you need help, her name is Adriana Sanchez. <laughs> Hit her up immediately. Yeah. Oh, uh, cause she this art thing is is really new to her in a sense. Okay. She's she's more so she's corporate world. She's, okay. She's okay. definitely corporate world, but like she definitely had a take in. I've I've seen that she had an eye for yeah for. I'm like, Hold up now, let's 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 figure out let's figure this out. <laughs> Because, no, this is great. This is great work. (laughs) Why did you do this? Okay, cool. So let's think like this every... So now we have have a system, a well-oiled machine system. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man. So now I ain't even got to... With along with Adriana, especially with my my look, my apparel, yeah, my homie Pyro, okay, who 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 assists in that era, bro. It's my team. Okay, let me shout out my whole team real quick. Let's go. So we got Adriana. Adriana's the creative director, and she's the business partner. She's she's everything. Every you need if you need answers on 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 <laughs> hieroglyphics. Like, hey man, Adriana, I was reading these hieroglyphics. Uh, what what is your take on? She, oh yeah, well if you break it down, I'm like she really got an answer. This is crazy. <laughs> Uh, Adriana Pyro, yeah. uh, my boy Zay. Okay, real quick, I gotta talk about Zay real quick okay. for a second. Yeah. Zay, and his wife is family. So, so after, so there was a time where all all the success was going on. All the success was going on mm-hmm. with Nito. Everything was going on with Nito. But then you know you still have your life moments. You still have your human mm-hmm. moments. And I was like kind of down, really bad. Mm-hmm. He came out of nowhere, like. Zay came out of nowhere. He popped up at a show. He said he does this, does that. But he don't really. He didn't really give you what he does. He was just like, oh, no, bro. I heard y'all was where to be during you know during the week. Blah, yeah. blah. Oh, okay, cool. He's like, man, tap me in. Like, so we exchanged the phone numbers. Blah blah yeah. blah. And like he for like a month straight, every day he was hit me up. What's oh, going wow. on, bro? Like, how your mindset? Like, how you feel? Oh, like, he on that. He bro, on that wave. He on that. He big on that wave too. He, if you know Zay, though, Zay wild. Zay will blurt out some wild stuff any moment. He's just at. He's just at peace with himself. Mm. He don't. He don't care about anybody else's approval, and he's just going to say what the first thing to cut his mind. But behind closed doors. He is that guy, bro. Yeah. He is checking, making sure. Hey, man, like, hey, man, like, I ain't heard from him a couple of days. You good, bro? Blah, yeah. Okay, cool, man. Let's go out and get some eat. Let's, yeah. let's chat. Bro, let's figure out what's going on. Bro. Let's figure out how we can. Bro, 
that's my guy. Yeah. So Zay, Zay, he don't like me calling him my manager, but Zay, my manager. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so Adriana Pyro, um, Zay, um, oh Vicky, mm-hmm. uh, Vicky, Vicky. Well, I mean, we we don't. She's not officially a part of the team. Yeah. We kind of just like when we when we when it's time for us to bring Vicky in, we bring Vicky in. <laughs> yeah. But when we don't, we don't leave Vicky. We don't. We, we won't use it. <laughs> But Vicky is uh she's she's more like the the uh what is it the public I guess you would say public relations side PR the, the PR side for sure. Okay. So she's got like you know connections like if we yeah. so we recently just did a um an event at Fashion Week. Okay. Um, Let's go. New York was live. Let's go. My home girl, my sister Farrah Morgan, bro. Yeah. She put on this was her first uh big uh Fashion Week event. Okay. Crazy turnout. Like it was just a great time. She's yeah. she's unofficially a part of my team as well. She knows it though. So you have a lot of unofficial uh, members. Let me tell you something. And you I, got you got like you got like bro the 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 people who always visit visit your church but they ain't on the roster, bro. And <laughs> and, and, and it's and bro and I I feel like I don't know why I'm so emotional today, but I just I I, I will cry right now. But like these people, bro, and they know it. They know anytime they're. I mean, I would I could call any of them right now. Yeah. They'll two rings, Eric, you good? What you need? Yeah. They'll answer, bro. They they got my back or anything. When I ain't in the room, they got my back. That's Yeah, bro. that's the most important part. I, I didn't hurt oh Sheesh. I ain't oh yeah. Janae, uh Mar- Marquisha Janae, uh, okay. uh Thomas, that's she does my she does she's responsible for my hair. Yeah, let's go. My homie Brandon who who does my edge or whatnot. Yeah. Uh, uh Sid who does my nails. Yeah. Which is which is really weird for a lot of people. I didn't realize how weird it was gonna be for uh it's just really in the South that it was weird. When I go to New York, when I go to LA, people was just yeah, like, yeah. Oh yeah, what up? Oh, oh, oh man, that's bro, that's fire. But in bro. the South, they like, why you paint your nails? Man, I had one lady, one lady at open mic, she was like, Ugh, why you got your nails painted? Oh yeah. But the thing is, growing up in Bro, growing up in church, you're already wired to respond to that correctly. Yeah, I ain't. E- I ain't even go. What you mean? Yeah, I was like, I said it look good, don't it? <laughs> First thing I did, I said my daughter said it look good. You don't like it? <laughs> when I said my daughter said it look good, that kind of she was like, uh, I mean, all right. It's. I mean, it's a little weird, but okay. You know how to diffuse situations too. Uh, yes, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Because that could have went. Bad. Yeah, like you really could have been, could. A, you could have been posting on the thing, man. Bro. I could have been going. I ain't, this B word says such, such, such shit like my nail. I don't give a what none of y'all think. I, yeah, I got black nail. Yeah, nah, I, I, I don't know. I and I, I like to credit it to my age, but <laughs> that, that, that. that ain't because I know some people older, older than me that would have slapped her immediately. Like what you mean, <laughs> Kirkpatrick would have slapped her immediately, <laughs> but not like again. I got to credit that to my my parents, yeah, uh, Bishop Terrence Jenkins, people, my sisters, yeah, on just how to be in heated situation. And uh, another thing, I feel like I'm going off topic. It's fine. You good? Okay, good, good, good. So growing up in my household, heated conversations was a thing. Like, but we were we would have heated political. Uh, uh, sports, any which, whatever you name. So whatever, were y'all like a debating type? Dev- of- <laughs> I mean, it was friends that would come around my house and be like, "Hey man, y'all good, bro? What's going on?" <laughs> and the others, I was like, "All right, man, I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow, bro. Love y'all, love you, dad. Love my dad. Like, bro, what is going on? Like, so y'all do that every day? Yeah, no, it's good. It's help, but it's but it it for me, I look at it as, and I, a lot of people can see it kind of like toxic, but I don't think it, it was just very passionate. If you're passionate about something, my dad was raising us up to not be afraid to speak on it even yeah. though i'm your dad you don't be afraid to speak on it like so he Absolutely. would like corn, like no eric, tell me no eric for real tell me how you feel about it like, yeah well i don't like that <laughs> well tell me why you don't like it like yeah give me i need something else like yeah. you need to give me some like my dad was shout like, out to your dad what? man that's fire my dad and my and my Thomas Duncan, Brenda Duncan, my mom and my dad, bro. Yeah, they need to write books. They really should write a book on how to raise kids. For real. I gotta, I and I just I'm only saying it because of the compliments they would get that I get. Like, man, you're so you and your you and your, your your siblings are so so. This is when we was growing up, so respectful and so like like how like, bro. 
my dad going to knock my head off. Like, <laughs> what you mean? Like, Marine. But, like, he he was that way for a while. And then it was like, a you know, after that conversation we had, yeah. there was a ship. And a lot came with that, too, because his, his dad was sick at the time. Mm. So he, he looking he, at everything. He different. had to look at everything. He yeah. was looking at the longevity of his relationship with his kids. Yes. So my dad, oh, my dad is. Sheesh. That's awesome. fire, bro. Oh, man, for real, for real. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. So having heated conversations kind of prepared me for, for those like, situations, for breaking down, like all right, all right. especially in public. Yeah, I'm like, but like, we behind closed doors, time to go. Hey, 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 hold up! <laughs> <laughs> what you not gonna say? Is, what you not gonna do? We going in, but like, yeah. just being comfortable enough to like, it ain't and understanding people. You, yeah. When you understand people, like she ain't mean nothing about that. Yeah, it was just that's weird for her. She yes. ain't never seen that before. Absolutely. So she like. Ill, but it's just she didn't she didn't filter her ill. Yeah, she, the fact that ill was first, that's wild. She, ew. That's you like, painted your nails? I'm like, that's crazy. I see it look good, don't it? You don't like it? My daughter's like it. And I did that. That's she a was, very good response. And she was like, ah, I mean, all right, yeah. I guess so. So was she singing? Nah, she was just she, and and it's, it's she's and she's family too. She yeah. not family, family, but she's been supporting. She come, she's missed Two open mics. Two open mics. Shout out to Karan and Tony. They come every week. So it was like, it, and, and that was like. So, extra, bro, you got. So, bro, oh, no. So now bro. we got, now we back to Club Nito. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have people that come every week. They don't miss a week. They don't That's miss a church, week, bro. man. You need your own building. <laughs> <laughs> they come in every uh, week, bro. Yeah, don't. I'm talking about to the point where we had her like she got her section. We know. See what I'm saying? She sit right there. We know it, people that come know. Like that's no. We can't. No, you can't. No, you can't sit there. That's what's your name in them seat. Like nobody else has a signed seat. Nobody else has a reserved section. Just her. And you need. You need to do, do, do at the uh, <laughs> at, at the Baptist Church and put a gold plate. Hey, on yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> gold, gold plate. Well, Karan and Tony. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, so I mean that was that was extra reason for me not to you know absolutely respond crazy absolutely. But you know still like that could that could end the relationship right there. Yeah, like, ew. What you yeah. mean ew? Yeah, you got something against black males? Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's another thing to 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 create a space where people don't all think the same. Exactly, they don't all live the same. Exactly. They don't all make the same that amount is of money. The goal. Like, but they all can come together for a common cause. That's the goal. Yeah, that is the goal. When we come here, we ain't thinking about it. it's. It's real. It's crazy how church is. And I was talking to my bishop about this for real. I'm like, bro, it's like it's really ministry, man. What we doing for real, for real? <laughs> it because is because people are coming, even though you know it's drink involved, whatever. <laughs> but people are coming from their stressful days yes. at work. They're coming from their lifestyles, what they got to deal with at home, what they got to deal with in such and such their their arenas, their cultures. Everybody in the same building for four hours, just having the greatest time. Absolutely. And then they look at, they know, they know they had a hard day Tuesday. They know Wednesday when I get off work. Yeah, they looking forward I'm to I'm going it. to open mic and we're going to be all right. Yeah, man. Yes, I did. That's fire, man. It's, That's dope it's, what it's you're doing, blessing. dog. It's a blessing for sure. Yo. <laughs> so you have the band. Mm-hmm. You have your personal brand. Yes. And you're in church, too. Yes. How do you balance all of that? Especially when you have children. I don't children. even know. <laughs> I don't know how I'm doing it. I really don't. Well, so you have to have, in order to do what I'm doing, in order to do this music thing in the secular world yeah, and be in church, you have to have leaders that understand. You have to have a pastor, a leader, or a bishop that get it. Yeah. That is it, and that ain't even on me. At the end of the day, that's if you don't have that, if you're if you feel like there's like a lot of tug and war with you and your leader when it when you're out doing the thing, and I'm not saying that you should leave, whatever. Maybe you need to, you know, maybe that ain't this ain't something you should be doing. Yeah, but I'm just I don't I'm just so blessed, bro. That I have a leader that get it. Like yeah. I can I at the church we we talk like hey man what happened to you like I see your gig I see your gig yeah. right there like yeah, no, man it was actually it was a really good turnout this week yeah. bro like we have real dialogue real That's conversation fire, bro man God, and, and I and I say this a lot especially 
um, I just did the so far in Durham like a couple like a month or two ago, mm-hmm. and I had my daughter sing with me. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. But like I remember saying, like if it looks like I'm living a dream, I really like a lot of things in it, and it may not my dream may not look like anybody else's, but for me, this is a dream yes, come sir. true. Yes, sir. Like my daughter's being able to. Yeah. Dabble in it now. She's getting older enough to where now she can. Oh wow! No, I think I want to do this. To where I have people around me that support me. Heavy. Yeah, I got man. bro. It's just yeah. It's a it's a dream. I'm doing. I'm doing living off of art. I'm. It's just. It's a beautiful thing, bro. Absolutely. It really is, man. Absolutely. Oh yeah. How do you balance your spiritual life with secular okay. music? Like. What gives you the confidence, number one? Yeah. And what keeps you from being convicted about it? <sighs> That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I genuinely wholeheartedly feel like I'm not talking about anything crazy in my it's life. Man. I feel like I'm only talking about things that have happened to me. Yes. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. And I feel like in my I have daily conversations with God about everything really yeah but especially the music but like and it's just like it it, it, it sounds like sometimes it sounds like this like god this line sound kind of crazy man <laughs> yeah. so if it you know and this and this may not be right and like, i hope i don't I hope y'all don't stone me for this but it'd be like i'll say like man if this if you don't want me to have this line on this song like make something happen somewhere <laughs> This is a bad take, or this is a, yeah. It, and it's and every time it always every goes. time it always. But I, again, I'm not talking about, and that's just like a couple of curse words maybe here, yeah, and on my song, like yeah. That's that's it, yeah. So like, and I don't, and that's another thing, like <laughs> when we get into like curse words and stuff. I just, I just have a different perspective when it comes to that. Like I, if it offends, so biblically speaking, it says if it offends. If it your offends brother. your brother, yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. But it doesn't mean it's a sin. It doesn't mean it's a sin. It, that just means it's offensive to some. Exactly. Like cursing is not cussing. Cussing exactly. is not cursing. Exactly. I can I can curse you and not use one profane word. Exactly. Exactly. And that is worse than me saying a cuss word. Exactly. <laughs> So these are, and 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 you you got kids, you get it. So these are conversations that I'm having with my daughters. Yeah. I am big. Anybody that knows me, know my relationship with my kids. I'm having open dialogue about everything. everything yes, I'm talking. You about, got to you, in 2024, what? boy. They gonna find you it. Competing with TikTok, they gonna find out. <laughs> they gonna find out the worst way. Jeez. Oh. Wait, where did you see this at? <laughs> Why did you send me this? <laughs> so like I'm I'm these are conversations I'm having with my daughters. Like, hey man, so we need to like so how do you feel about curse words? Like, I know you be cursing with your friends, God. Listen, me and my me and my daughter, my oldest, we be having wild conversations. And I I try to keep it down when I'm around people that don't really get it. Yeah, because like, they'll they'll misunderstand it and oh be talking crazy. God. Yeah. But me and her be like, oh my God, I know you be cursing with your friends. What curse words you be using? You be saying the hard one. <laughs> Oh, just the light was okay. Cool, cool, cool. Wait, no, I don't. Yeah, no, you said it. You said it already. You said it already. I got you. You said it already. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I just, I just have a different outlook on curse words. Yeah. So I just, that's gonna sound crazy. I just try to stay around people that don't curse. That's all. <laughs> I stay with people that don't. It's like if you don't curse. Oh, okay. So if I'm if I'm around you, I, I'm I, I, I choose my words wisely. Let's say that. Yeah. But you know, when I'm with the boys, you know. <laughs> A- AJ VJ, my brother, Adriana, bro, we going, we going in. So, Bishop Walker, why we talk? Oh, man. Hey, oh, man. Hey, Bishop. But, but like, the thing is, and it, it's very important. We're living in a time where transparency and hard conversations are a must. It's a must, man. With yes. everyone you respect. If you have respect for a person, Open conversation, them hard conversation, let them know what's really going on is a must. Yeah, it is. My bishop knows what's really. Let's go. Bro, I. You tell them. I, and I, I, again, I like the credit to my age. I'm at an age now, like, man, right, bro. Listen, boy. I ain't even about to hit pump faking with you, bro. <laughs> like, hey, bishop. Mm. Last night, got a little wild last night. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just letting you know. Got a little wild last night. That's why I'm half sleeping here. But I'm going to go ahead and go to the back while you, <laughs> when you come up to preach, just so you know. I'm going to go to the back. But I'm going to come back right before you end so I can, you know, play when it's time. Yeah. Bro, like, you eat. And, you like, just, and it's, you can disciple people more effectively yes. when there's no fake in it. Like, I'm coming in. Oh, no, no. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, bitch. No, praise the Lord, bitch. Praise the Lord, bitch. No, no. Yeah, it went to bed at 9 30 last night. <laughs> Knowing good and well. The gig didn't let out. We ain't finished. We ain't finished. Cock, cock, boom, until 12 30. <laughs> and then we got to wait to the end to count the money. Like, yes. especially when we're doing our, like, we were at the house. It's a spot in Durham called The House. Yeah. Shout out to Ramsey. Yeah. Um, and Chelsea. But when we're there, you know, we do ticket sales. So, yeah. Like, we got to wait till after to count the money. Yeah. They ain't done till two. <laughs> so we like, yeah. Sometimes we'll count the money early. I go grab Adrian and be like, hey, man, let's go ahead and, y'all ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go and get Chelsea now. Let's go and go. Let's count his money early. It's, yeah. it's been a rough one in there. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so he, yeah, he's he's aware, bro. That's good. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. It's very important. So what are your thoughts now mm-hmm. on a relationship? A uh, 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 human to human relationship. Yes. After all you've been through, what happened in your marriage, where right, you right. are now in your career, the age of your children. Yes. Like what's what's how you how are you thinking about it now? Everything is filtered through my kids, right? Mm. Like if 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 there is a legit potential anything, they hear it first. Okay, let's go. I let them like, hey man, like. Don't make sure y'all not weird, but uh, <laughs> yeah, this hot damn feeling, and they be like, "Yo, damn, why are you telling me this?" Like, yeah, nah, I just you know, <laughs> yeah, just if you if you feel on some type of way, let me know. Yeah, let me know right now. Yeah, so that is the deciding factor wow. on everything. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. Oh man, I I just because they, if if your kids are truly your heart and you are cautious and concerned about how they are feeling yeah you have to you have to not saying your decision has to be based on that but you at least have to know yeah for me if they feel in some type of way it's a dub oh wow let's go let's go so you don't even they can't even do it if they feel inside i like i'll I don't even bring people around my kids that often yeah the only people that around my kids are people that are on my team yeah but if if it ain't there is so they 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 were around this one person one time uh-huh and madison won't rock in with it okay yeah i ain't seen her since wow like it's just that, like it's Come at, they and it see. won't even and it won't even like i was trying to introduce my kids to him it was just like they had to be around her for a moment for us for yeah. to get from point a to point b and it was like in that transition oh is like and madison was like oh right like, Looking at the girl like, hey, hold up. <laughs> Kyle was like, Madison, stop. <laughs> Madison, stop. Kyle like, Madison like, hey, nah, bro. I don't, hey, you rocking with this? Oh, you cool with this? Oh, okay. Oh, cool. I can see though in the river mirror. Like, oh, you, oh, you cool with this? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you soft. You soft. You soft. I'm not cool. Like, I'm like, oh, hold up, hold up. Like, hey, so, uh, yeah, everybody all right? Everybody good? <laughs> Hey, uh, put, put your seat up. Put your seat up just in case they swing on you. Everybody good in the back? Everybody good? All right. And just you ain't seen her tw- since. 20? I ain't seen her since. It's just, I can't, I, I can't jeopardize that though. Yeah. That will create a lot of things. They will feel like they you don't value them. Yeah. You don't value how they feel about certain things. Yeah. That creates a lot of issues. Absolutely. So like <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry. This was nice though, man. <laughs> this was nice. I enjoyed it. Yeah, but no. But I gotta go. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Please don't. I mean, you know, but she was she was understanding. She got it. Okay. So it won't, That's it won't even like it won't even like, you know, nothing crazy, but yeah, she was like, I understand him so because she, she had a son at the time. So she was like, yeah, okay, oh, you know, I get it, I get it because it's my son. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so yeah. Well, oh, that made it great. Good conversation, then, man. I holler at you. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does Madison? How does Madison feel about Nito and music and everything? Oh, 
So the thing, the thing that people really don't know is Madison. So so Kyle is the singer. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle is the singer. Kyle is going to be an artist. But Madison is like all of it in one, bro. Madison yeah. is a dancer. She can, she can <laughs> listen, bro, can dance. Yeah. Bro. Like, yeah. I'm talking like, I'm trying to, she, I, I gotta, I'm trying to be more intentional um, within the next couple of months about like, put her on camera dancing like okay yeah on a legit in a legit way like yeah my my ideas around like certain music videos that i'm trying to do or visuals or whatever that include her doing her, her oh, dance so thing fire. but to where it's not corny though you know it could be done to where it's like yeah yeah she dancing though but this was like i didn't, I didn't get it but like yeah in a in a in a in a a, a, a cool way that doesn't uh damage her career moving forward <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, yeah. Madison's her taste in music. So Kyla don't really care for John Mayer and Coldplay for real. For real. Okay, okay. To her, she's like they're just basic singers. Man. What are you hearing? Like this yeah. ain't really nothing. Like, like can you put back? Can you put a uh, 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 Brandy back on, please? Like, oh, like, oh no, nah, Kyla is Kyla is like that. Yeah, and I hate. It's like everybody that got kids say they kid. Like, like but no, nah, <laughs> I'm telling. Listen, I'm telling. Listen, I'm telling. Listen, I'm telling. And, and the the world has only heard her when she was nervous and trying to overcome it. Yeah, in front of the camera or while I'm recording her, but when it's just me and her in the car, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was able to, and I'll. Do you I'll, sneak record sometimes, bro? I got this clip. I got this clip right now on on TikTok. Her, she was doing the Kimberell challenge. It was like this Kimberell challenge. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I got it. And it's not like, and it's like you look at her. She's like, <laughs> like <laughs> she did. She kept doing it, and it was like. <laughs> Pull my phone out like I gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it. <laughs> oh yeah, and then she looked down after I see that. Huh? <laughs> Dad, I told you no, hey man, I'm sorry. Somebody else gotta see this. Somebody gotta see this. They're not gonna believe me if I tell them. They gonna just think I'm your dad and I'm just yeah. hyping you up. They gotta see it in real yeah, time. Absolutely. But nah, Madison's taste in music is she's big on John Mayer. She's big on Coldplay. Yeah. It, bro, she's her, bro, I just, bro. Yeah. My kids are, they're, bro, everything, bro. That's fire, bro. bro. It is, it is. <laughs> That's beautiful, and it's, man. It's, it's wild to talk about a lot yeah. with her, but it's just, it really is a dream come true for yes. her, like for real. The last thing I got to ask you about, because okay. this is important to me. Okay. Co-parenting. Ooh. How is it? <laughs> it, it's, I've heard so, it's not bad. It's not okay, bad. Okay. It's not bad. Let me start there. It's not That's bad. Good, it's not good. bad at all. It's not bad. But just, you know, just humans dealing with humans, there's some hurdles and things yes. that you got to hop over. Like, ee- yeah. Yes. But, you know, it's it's a it's a, it's a work in progress for yes. sure. Yes. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a few things that we disagree on, mm-hmm. but they don't, we don't make them the focal point absolutely it's it's the focal point are the kids that's good so it's definitely not as i've heard some horror horror stories stories, bro i'm talking about i i I remember in the car with some guys they were talking about some some, these are guys that one guy was separated one guy was divorced yeah one guy he was married but contemplating yeah it was all it was the bad so you had all (laughs) it was the worst combination of guys to be in the car at the same time (laughs) and here i am divorced hey man (laughs) y'all and i'm listening to some of these stories i'm like oh no i gotta pull over ain't no way you just said she did that yeah because you can you can easily think you having a tough time to hear somebody else exactly i got it made i'm listening to them like man i need to let me send her a text. You know, you're such a great mom. I really appreciate. It. So serious. I literally sent that text. Yeah, you're such a great mom. I really appreciate you. you put my daughters first. I'm I'm so so thankful to God for allowing you into my life to create such beautiful daughters. Like I sent the longest. I know she was like, "What's happening right now?" What? She said, "Dot dot dot." Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you don't understand what I just heard. <laughs> That's all it is. These men are going through it. Yeah. There's some men out here going through it. Yeah, for sure. Being drugged, bro. Yes. Court. Here at the court here. I'm like, bro, yep. what? Yep. 
Man. Yep. And then, like, especially when things didn't end well. And, like, women have the power to kind of. And especially when it looked like your life is getting better (sighs) afterwards. And I, I, I've never experienced, but I heard the homies talk about it. Like, Bro, I'm like man, man. <laughs> that sounds rough. I don't want no parts. Thank you, God. Thank you. God. Like I have a, I have a couple of homies now, and it breaks my heart. Yeah. To hear this right here. Yeah. And I'm sure you've heard it. Yeah. I have to wait until he or she turns 18 to let them make their own decision. I've heard that so many, like, I can't do nothing. I have mm. to wait till they're an adult and that they can have a conversation with me and decide. Mm. I'm like, oh, Jesus. And they like nine and 10 when they say that. I'm like, ah! You missing out on everything. <sighs> you about to miss out on everything. That, that right there? Mm. I'm like, Jesus. Boy, that's tough. Mm. So if I were you, I would have sent that text. Look, bro, I'm saying, oh my God, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. But I mean, I mean, again, there's, there's certain things that we don't agree on that I Absolutely. feel strongly about and she feels strongly about. But we just don't let that get in the way That's of, good. of That's them. Good. So, yeah. And nah, co-parenting is actually going good. So, That's good, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So life is going good. Life is going great. Career is going good. Yes. Being a father is going good. Oh, it's the, <laughs> that is the it. life. That's it. So what's the craziest thing going on in your life right now that you either are trying to change or wish would change it, or is there anything like that if i had to say something like that because i i like to stay away from conversations like that because of um i i i trust god that's crazy yeah. that's crazy but I, I trust god so much and everything that has transpired up until this point is nothing but God. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, man, you got a plan. Okay, cool. Yeah. There's clearly, you uh-huh. clearly. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I see why you did that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. But if I had to say something like that, I would have said it November. I wish, like, I wish my career would like take off quicker, I guess, oh, I guess. Man. But what I'm finding out is my name is in rooms that I ain't even, that's, that's like, bro. And it's, and it's people that I don't even like, okay, for, for example, this is, this is, this is crazy. So I had a video go a viral of me, um, rehearsing with, um, three individuals, uh, 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 destiny, um, 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 Rene, and Bree. Okay. Amazing singers. Yeah. Oh, man. Like, I believe it. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. These are the type of singers that you get, and you're like, man, let me see what I can, let me see what I can come you, up with. You just stretching because, them just to see, just because you know they can do it. Just to see <laughs> how this going to sound, because I know it's going to sound exactly how I want it. <laughs> so, like, I'm in it. So, this, that vi- that video goes viral. Okay. We're singing uh, uh, one of the songs off of Nito's album called Paper Town. Okay. Um, and so I posted it one time, it went viral on TikTok. Then I post it again like a, a year later. It might have been like a year later on Instagram. It goes viral again. So these are people that's reaching out to me. And it's, this is crazy. First, Doobie reached out to me. Okay. Doobie Powell. Shout out to Doobie. Shout out to Josh Powell. The, yeah. The homies. Uh, after Doobie reached out to me, Sheila E. reposted it. She reached out to me. Bro. <laughs> dog, it gets crazy. Queen Latifah reposts it and reaches out to me, bro. The bro, and it's not. I can't even. And when I posted it, it was like yeah, I'm gonna just post it again, just to see, you know, just on Instagram because you know I saw this video that said, you know, you gotta post a video a couple of times for you know to get recognition. But I was like, all right, cool, I'm gonna post it again. Like I remember, I was, I think I was talking to Adrian right before I posted. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to post it. Boom. Think, think about it. Think about it. I think we we're having. Oh, we we're having a Christmas dinner. Okay. She, uh, Adrian, did a Christmas dinner at her house. Yeah. Uh, my siblings was all there. Uh, 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 Kay was there. Kay's brother was there. And we was all just sitting. I'm, I, I'm just checking my phone because my phone, my phone is going crazy. It's going crazy. I'm like, I'm telling, like, hey, look, I'm telling, hey, look, look, what's going on? Bro, look, look. Like, bro, it's going crazy right now. Yeah. So, um, but just with that, like how, just how quickly that stuff can turn. It can turn. It can turn overnight. Like, yeah, really literally. Quick. And just me being, uh, doing the work, being consistent, just 
having conversations with, with some of my friends that are in the industry, like they're like, "Hey, man, nah, bro," because such and such, we just had a talk. I was just talking to such and such about like me understanding. Like, like again, had you asked me in November, my answer might have been different. I might have yeah. been like, man, I wish my life been doing all this work. Blah, blah, blah. But, like, now here, <laughs> April, bro, yeah. I have, I got nothing for you. Yeah. Because God definitely has a plan. Yes. <laughs> and it can change so Absolutely. quickly, bro. And, like, when I, when I hear your story, it makes me think about, like, the concept of, like, the growth of a tree. Oh, like growing in silence. I'd rather grow down first. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And like a lot of us, oh yeah, I see the that. roots of a tree. Yeah, the deeper the roots, the bigger the tree. That's and like crazy. because we are so infatuated on how things appear to be, mm. we are eager to grow up yep. fast. Yeah, but if we don't grow down slow yep. and deep, yeah. He's just gonna boop. It's facts. It, it might it'll raise up, but mom, it's gonna, it, it's gonna it'll fall, fall easily. Easily. Yep. That's heavy. So it's like you it's it's root work being done. Yeah. Like facts. Like strong, deep roots. That's so once facts. once it starts to grow up, yeah, it's gonna be there for yeah. for generations to come. Literally. I received that. I appreciate that. Literally, like your children's children will reap the benefits of what's happening now. Yeah, yeah. That's why you got to start Club Nita. Yeah, facts. So when Queen Latifah come into town, she knows that's what she, she doing. Already, they already know where to come. That's like, the vibes, bro. Bro, that's real. Like <laughs> Dreamville, Dreamville, J. Cole, like, hey, man, what? I'm hearing about this Club Nita, bro. Let's let's pull up to that. Yes. No. So strange thing. Let me say this, bro. I got to say this. Oh, it was me, Adriana, Jimmy. No, just us. It was just me, Adriana, and Jimmy. Okay. Jimmy, my homie, he from Alabama. Okay. Uh, he in, he in the, uh, the Navy, uh, Air Force. Okay. So, but when he in town- he hit me up. Hey, I'm in town, dog. What we on tonight? Like, <laughs> yeah. It's all. So this past week, Wednesday night at the open mic, we were going to Peace and Saint. Um, my homie, well, I know the owner at Peace and Saint. So like, I hit him up. Like, hey man, I think I'm gonna pull up early day. I think I'm gonna pull up. He said, yeah. definitely come through. Mm-hmm. And I know the last couple of years I didn't go. J Cole was in the building. Yeah. So I'm. We're walking. We just parked. Me and her, Jimmy, are walking. I see my homie Shane. I see. Um, What's that artist's name? It's a girl. She signed the Ninth Wonders label. I can't think of her name. Victoria? Yeah. Uh, Victoria, what's her name? Something Victoria. Heather Victoria. Heather Victoria. Yeah. Yes. I see her. I see Shane. It's another dude with them. And then there's the, the rapper Lute. Okay. Lute is with them. Yeah. Right? So, you know, I see them, but my mind. So, at the time, why kind of love just dropped? But it ain't available on Spotify. Yeah. So, I'm trying to figure out what the heck is going on right now. Yeah. Bro, like, hold up, bro. Like, but after talking to other artists, Spotify is tweaking on a lot of artists right now. So, yeah. okay, cool. Okay, bet. So, I'm in my mind, I'm tunnel vision because I'm like, I just don't understand. Like, I did it. The time they thought I, I released it. I uploaded a month in advance. Like, they asked. Yeah. But I'm trying to understand. I don't understand why, blah, 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 blah. While I'm doing that. Like I hear, what up, what up? I look up, oh what up? Oh, what up, Shane? Oh, what up, Shane? I walk back, oh what up, Shane? I dab him up, blah blah. He talking like uh, and I see Loot. He's like, yo, this this Loot, bro. I'm like, oh shoot, I know who Loot is, but in my mind, oh oh yeah yeah. And he was like, his Shane was like, this uh, my boy Eric, you know Eric? He's like, yeah, I know Eric. I'm like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, in my at the time, I'm like, er. But I'm like, oh yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Like, he's like, yeah, no. Nah. He said, bro, you just this is Luke talking. Y'all late, bro. Y'all just missed everything, bro. Pizza State was lit, bro. I was like, oh yeah, we had an open mic on Wednesday. Oh, open mic. Like, do it every Wednesday. Like, yeah, we have it every Wednesday. Is down now. It's at the Architect. Oh, back. Yeah, no, we gonna try to pull up. Shame, like, yeah, no, we gonna try to pull up next yeah. time. Like, boom, boom, boom. That's how that conversation went. The whole night go back. Now, look, <laughs> my whole walk in the Pizza Saint different now. Like, man, y'all don't tell me nothing, Luke. Knew who I was, bro. Yeah, get off of me, yeah. get off of me, peasants. <laughs> nah, but you know I can't, I can't even move like that. For yeah, real, bro. yeah. But like the next day, I was talking. I was like, "Hey, man, hey, Adrian, like, did you <laughs> quote me if I'm wrong? Now. Like, if I'm wrong, tell me if I'm wrong. Now, did you hear him say <laughs> on my tweet? Oh yeah, no, I know, Eric. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Like, yeah, no, I heard, like, okay, okay. I just make sure I won't tweet. It. Yeah, just make sure I won't tweet. It, yeah, no. Nah, but I, I'm really, I'm trusting God right now, bro. Absolutely. For real, for real. Absolutely. But that Club Needle, it definitely is heaven. Yeah. Because yeah. situations like that, like, hey, bro, nah, bro, nah. So tomorrow night, pull up to Club Needle. We doing blah, blah, blah. And the thing is, like, 
Like, how many nights a week do y'all do now? As open mic or just Nito? J- both. Give me all of it. We we slowed down, so we have a period from like like late winter to early spring where we kind of just chill uh-huh. really much. Uh huh. But before then, it's like three, four nights a week. So three, four nights a week as Nito, mm-hmm. and then one of those three or four nights is open mic. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Imagine all four, five of them nights being at Club Nito. <laughs> My God. Well, at least three of them. Come on, bro. <laughs> nah, that would be. Come that's on, gonna be. Man. That's gonna be crazy. Yo, that's the vibes, yo. If God sent you here just to confirm Club hey, Nito, facts. Is the, hey, look facts. At me, look at me knocking <laughs> stuff over. So all all the investors watching. That's, yeah. what, that's what we're gonna call it. That that makes people to give, you know, that's an easier way to give. You're investing. You're an investor, yeah. I need some investors to, you know, hit me up. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Before we go, is there anything you want to express or say to the people? Anything yeah. on your heart you've been thinking about? Anything? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, do? yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. First, first, thank you so much for Absolutely. having me here, man. I really appreciate you. I have a lot of respect for you. Yes, sir. And, and what and what you do. Thank you, I man. I really appreciate you uh inviting me here. But definitely want to say something very simple. Okay. Be nice to people, bro. <laughs> Just be nice to them, yeah, bro. Yeah, absolutely. People people are going through it right yes. now. And nine times out of ten, if you see them and they're and they coming all kind of wild, it has absolutely nothing, nothing to, to do, do with, with you. you. <laughs> so be nice. Bite your bullet. Well, take your stripes, bro. Take your stripes. Ah. Yeah. I didn't like the way that sound. But you know what? I hope you have a blessed day. I, I hope you have a blessed day. I'm sorry. I, you okay? Everything all right? Oh, okay, yeah. cool. No, okay, cool. But be nice to people, bro. That's it. It's simple. It's not simple. It is definitely hard. That The crazy thing is, <laughs> in, it is theory, hard. in theory, it's simple. In practice, it's hard. It is so hard. Like being nice is, yeah, it's it is easy. so hard. Nah. Especially when you're like, man, they ain't going through nothing worse than me. I ain't <laughs> no way that should be. T-. But yeah. Just be nice to people, bro. And you never know. You never like life has mm. shown like life has shown me some crazy stuff. Like mm. you can be mean to someone today mm-hmm. who can hold the key to an opportunity for you five years from Let now. Me and take, they remember the day you were mean. I, I ain't even gonna get into that story. But I got so many stories <laughs> like that. And I remember and I've been telling Adrian, I'm so glad I was nice to them. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God! Just imagine had I been mean, or just reacted how my day had yes treated me yes, man. and just re- reacted in that manner. Like, yes. but because I was <sighs> yeah, boy. Hey, what's going on, man? Yeah. So good. Oh my God! So good to see you here. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah. Like a lot of doors have been opened just because of that. Yes, that is real, bro. Yes. Oh man. So y'all be nice to people, man. Be nice to people. It, it, it'll work out in your favor. It will every time. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Yo, it was a pleasure having you. Though. Like, it was a pleasure being here. Yes, really sir. Appreciate it, man. This has been another episode of the RXS podcast with Eric Duncan. We out. Peace. Peace. Peace.